What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, and this is my Ridge Wallet. This is Forged Carbon. Uh, it holds all my cards there. It's really small. It's really easy to carry around. It slips into my pocket and can't even tell it's there. It's got a money clip here for some cash as well. Just find it easier than an old school foldable wallet that kind of feels bulky in my pocket. Now, they, right now they have a Black Friday sale and it's 15% off. Use code FRIDAY15. These are some other styles. If you want to buy on a different day and you want to support the channel, you can use code RBP to also get 15% off. You get that 15% off until December 7th. So between now and December 7th, you can get 15% off at ridge.com by using code RBP or type in link ridge.com backslash RBP and you'll get the 15% off automatically at checkout. Thanks guys. What's going on here? Oh, now I can. What's going on? Yeah, can you hear my tumble? Can you hear my tumble dryer? No. Oh, good, good, good. Are you at home right now? Yeah, I'm in Florida. Yeah, that's my, what I meant. My, my, my apartment. Well, you got you got a good setup now. You got good headphones and shit. Oh, this is just uh, my beach. Oh, your yeah, beach. I just got my laptop. Yeah, I just got my laptop with me today. Yeah, I noticed your beanie or your toque that you're wearing. I know. I can't, wear it full, I can't wear it fully on because it'll make my head too hot, but I like wearing it because well, I'm in it. But the side hair has grown a lot. So it's like really thick on the side, but there's nothing on top. So I just have to cover the top. <laughs> let me yeah. see what it let me see what it looks like. Hi, how are you? you Hi, she can't you? hear me. Hello. Hello, she says. Well, you can hear her, obviously. Um <laughs> yeah, look. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, the hair looks good. Yeah. You got the Mr. Burns going. Oh, here you now. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> put it, put it, put it, it all the way. in person. Put it all the way on. I want to see what it looks like. I want a beanie, I think. Yeah. Looks good. What about Rob at someone's house? <laughs> so Hostile has a, a style like that, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make another one with the thinner, the thinner beanie. You yeah, like I like the, the thinner. I like the thinner ones. Yeah, you, get, you, you can get the thinner ones that are a little bit longer that you can choose to fold or not fold. Yeah, like so you can have it kind of. I know it sounds weird, but looking like you're a fucking Green Goblin, like with the point. <laughs> but some people like that, and then yeah. some people like it, you know, rolled over. Yeah. So mine's a little longer and I got Brett, but Brett's head is so big <laughs> that he put it on. It just like stretches over the whole fucking, his whole fucking head. Ah, uh, I remember having a head. Well, my head is big still, but I remember being like on four shots of Omnidren a week back in the day. <laughs> my blood pressure was like 180 and my head was like that. <laughs> uh, Omnidren. That's so yeah. fucking, that's so you fucking old that? school. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember doing that and, uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I didn't take any, I didn't know any health supplements at the time and I didn't know anything about blood pressure. And I think I had like a blood pressure of 180 <laughs> and, my, and my head was just red all the time. <laughs> I Brilliant don't, uh, I, my bro science back in the day, whenever I took Omnidrin, I'd be like, I can't take Omnidrin, it makes me watery. You remember that? Well, because it, yeah, I know, but that's probably because you were the same as me back then. We didn't know any of the precautions. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, you know what I mean? We, we, we're just literally taking it and nothing, yeah. you know, no protective measures. Ben, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? What's going on? Good. Good. good um, we were just talking about Omnidrin. Do you ever take? Did you ever take Omnidrin? You must have taken Omnidrin back in the day. The pink, pink Polish sus with one S the different. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't actually. What? You never took that because everybody yeah. always, everybody that always took. Everywhere. Everybody always took the, the Cytohose, the the Cessanons, the Cytohose, or the fucking uh, the Omnidrins. What was, what was the lab then? Jeff or Jelfa? I think I have some. That's jokes. If you have this, brilliant. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I think I have. It's so old school. I used to love that shit. One second. It was great. Five five amples in a box. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I, think I have a box from like way back yeah. in the day. Pink and white. Yeah. That can't be good still. No, <laughs> it's expired. <laughs> it's probably gone solid. It's probably turned into like Christmas. I bet you it'll still work. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Just, heat, just do what they used to say. Heat it up in a pan. Like put it in warm water. <laughs> and if you have to do that with your gear, it's like it's wrong with your fucking gear. <laughs> like, I, I always love that. If someone sells you gear and they're like, oh yeah, it's crystallized. And you're like, and they're like, yeah, just heat it up. You'll be fine. Yeah, so I, actually, I actually genuinely used to get a sink. I used to fill a sink up with hot water and then just put my vials in there just so that it'd slide in real easy. Yeah, that's no. different. Like, it's not like it's gone. To, I remember no, no, I wasn't allowed to like, 
I had master on or prop or something or someone, and it literally went into jelly. And they were still like, yeah, use it. It's fine. You'll be all right. <laughs> I got that too. They're like, oh, it's okay, man. man. Just put it, put it in the microwave for eight put seconds. Put it in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Microwave. Oh. It worked. Madness. I put it in the microwave. It liquefied. And then I used it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. It did. I'm telling you, it's fine. Damn. I actually did it. <laughs> Ian, what's was... up? What's up? <clears throat> you're, you're with a different crew this time. Yeah, I know. This is cool. We pulled yeah, you over. I figure we mix it up. Like, this is, this is old he is half pretty too. much. Yeah. yeah. This is a, the old school bodybuilding of bollocks. He's got dual citizenship. Yeah. yeah. Um, you remember the old school Omnidrins? Omni drinks? Omnidrin. 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 What is that? It was a Sustanon, but it had one S to different. Oh, Omni- Omnidrin. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, Sustanon. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever take those? About? Did I ever use them? Yes. Yeah. Did it Maybe that's it? why I'm not big enough. Maybe I need to get that's some. Because <laughs> <laughs> all, all you three have used it, I haven't. That's what I, I, I thought you were saying Omni drinks. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Yeah, Omni drinks. No, my yeah. mouth is a little bit mushy yeah. this today. I, I'm not, it's not enunciating properly. No, 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 no. I have that sometimes. Yeah, um, Omni drink was great. Do you do, 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 do warm up exercises before your podcasts? Yeah, I'm like, hey, like oh, yeah, man. yo. <laughs> <laughs> Does his vows? Does his vows? A E I O U. No, I just woke up like fucking hour ago. Fuck off. Me too. Uh, I did as well. I had a late one. I had a. I've been watching a new series on. Well, it's not a new series. It's actually old, but I started it, and now I'm like hooked on it. So I went to bed at like two in the morning last night. What is it? Are we just gonna, gonna, we uh, have to guess. Have yeah, to guess yeah, what it is. Yeah. So, somebody's supposed to say what is it, and then I'm supposed to tell you what it is. <laughs> what so, is um, it? So I'm supposed to say what it is. <laughs> Yellowstone. I don't oh know yeah. Oh I, man. I just finished uh, the most recent episode on. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I think I finished the first season yesterday. It just Am keeps I... getting better, man. Does it? Oh my god! Season two and three are ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, it's, yeah, it's, on my, it's on my to watch list because we've been going through Gotham. There's like five fucking series of that, and there's like thirty episodes in every series. Didn't it's you tell me? That. Didn't you tell me to watch Gotham? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I gotta check that out next. I uh, I was enjoying Gotham, and then I stopped watching it just because I was in prep, and then I never went back to it. So I need to go back to it. You gotta yeah. get back on that. Finish. Paul, Paul was telling me to watch Yellowstone for a while, and I didn't because I, I think I was watching something else. I was watching C, and I was watching Ted Lasso. And anyway, so I started watching Yellowstone. I'm like, this is pretty good, but now I want to fucking buy a horse and be a cowboy. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so every, easy to sweat. every person that's told me to watch Yellowstone has been near retirement age, though. Really? It seems like an old person thing. You know, the guy who had Rip. Rip, you know Rip? Yeah, yeah, the badass guy. Yeah. He trains it at Revive Gym here. We see him. Does all he time. really? That's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, well, Gary, I think the gym quite often. Yeah. <coughs> so you were gone for uh, your anniversary. How was that? It was good. Went to Aspen. It was nice. Good, lovely, man. Looked awesome. Yeah. How long it was were you gone? Experiencing seasons, you know, like I've been in Florida since August. It's been like the same temperature like every fucking day for four months, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's so. funny, you know, Paul says that to me all the time. He's like, Oh, I want to move to Florida. I want to buy a house in Florida and I want to move there for the winter months. And I'm like, I kind of like the winter months. Like yeah, I kind of like yeah. I kind of like the change of season. You get a little bit of hot and get a little bit of cold. Yeah, it's it's nice to experience seasons, but I mean, like, I don't want to spend like three, four, or five months of like canadian winter that's for sure no oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you're in ottawa ian so yours winters are way worse than ours yeah like yeah, windsor well, but... I, I know surprisingly it's only eight hours south but like oh, it's, actually, yeah. it's yeah. actually not that bad here yeah so and uh, ottawa gets it really bad yeah so anyway so you were gone for how many days five did you get bored after like three mm, not really no no like i i mean it... No, because the whole trip was just like a relaxation trip. So it was like, you know, yeah. we just like slept till we wanted to sleep and woke up, went out, ate breakfast, you know, relaxed during the day or chilled or did whatever and walked around, shop, went to the gym uh, and then went out for dinner every night and got fucked up, you know? I think, Did you? What he really what he really wants to hear is him say that you missed being on the podcast for those five days. <laughs> you were bored. No, That's no. what he wants. I don't, no, I don't. <laughs> No, you missed the, that, didn't you? The point, the reason I was saying that is whenever I go on vacation, generally after like three days, I'm like, okay, I want to go home. Mm, I want to go like, home. Yeah. yeah, like I'm good. I'm I usually go. the same. And, and yeah, but uh, no, it was good. I mean, it was short enough. Like it was four nights, kind of five days. And it was like, that was long enough, you know? Yeah. yeah. Any longer, I would have started to feel that way, but it was like just, just enough, you know? Yeah. I think five days is good. Yeah. Ben, how long did you guys go for when you went? For, uh, Monday to Saturday. But we originally we originally planned Tuesday to Sunday, but then they cancelled the 
place that we had to go. We went a day earlier rather than a day later. Uh, uh, you're all right. We were we got to the Thursday, and it wasn't that we were bored, it's that we missed Phoenix. Yeah, yeah you missed your <laughs> so life. I was like shit, I want to go home now. But I also went to a place where I realized that I'm uh poor. <laughs> yeah. Aspen, yo, Aspen is legitimately the most expensive city I've ever been to in my life by a yeah. mile. Really, yeah. eh? Man, yeah, I paid I, one night. One night we got we went out to this place and just ate like a desserts. Yeah. And for two pieces of cheesecake, they were 36 bucks US each. Holy fuck. Where'd you go? How good was the cheesecake? It was good. I mean, it was one of the better cheesecakes I've had, but like I mean, you're spending basically a hundred dollars Canadian for two pieces of cheesecake. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. That's that that's how the week went for me. I was just like every every yeah. time we ate, I was like, it was times three what you'd expect to pay. Yeah. Like, every fuck. dinner we went to was minimum four hundred bucks US. Minimum. Ben, were you minutes. Ben, were you in Aspen too? No, we were in uh, Beaver Creek, which is kind of up that way, like near Vale, and so yeah. it's kind of not far, right? Aspen's mm. a little further away, but uh, or a little further, I think, west. Of, I don't know. It was close, but not. Yeah, we yeah, did I, I remember that was the one thing you said to me when I texted you. I was like, "How's your trip?" And you're like, "Make sure you bring a lot of money if you ever come here." Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, because yeah. It, as well, like we were just on the like if we didn't stay very long, I'd have been like, "Hey, we probably need to check out and go somewhere else now." Because. <laughs> Enjoy being there like i can afford it but i don't enjoy it at that point yeah. you know yeah well you said you were paying like a fucking fuck ton each night for a hotel well, yeah well when we well tom brady's wife was staying in the same fucking hotel as us <laughs> yeah that's too like, much for me man i'm like fuck that well i mean even the jerome like so, what was like, oh go ahead no no i was saying when we got there like you know when you get someone you're like oh let's just grab a quick bite in the bar before we get to, we went and got a burger from the grill, like the the outside grill, which is like to me the cheap seats, right? Yeah. So two burgers and Denise had a cocktail, one hundred and thirty dollars. Holy fuck! Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this? That was like instantly. I was like, well, this trip is gonna have a different tone to it. I don't know. I don't know if I mind the expensive meals as much as i mind the hotel like when the hotel is like 1500 bucks a night you're like what the fuck but, so that's how right, much but it, it's 14 1500 bucks a night yeah was yeah it? I, I, ours was the same but it's not even that like i don't mind paying for food that's fucking good but when it's just a burger yeah yeah, yeah. it was just a quick like if we, we went out yeah. for a couple of um like fine dining restaurants where they do like a five course taster menu and like and you pay for the experience. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But when I just want to, we literally just got there and like, oh, let's just grab a, like a burger and fries. It's normally the cheap option, right? Just something quick and easy that we can just throw down. And it was that much. I'm like, that's that's yeah. that's something that's something that you expect to have to change for in your wallet. And then <laughs> yeah. and then and then you, and you go and then you go, oh shit, go to my card. Okay. <laughs> Um, did you do anything cool while you were there, Ian, or was it just mostly relaxing? How fucked up did you get? How many nights in a row? Every night? It's it's crazy. Like, I don't know if, like, the, because of the altitude in Aspen, like, it's like two and a half kilometers over sea level. It's really fucking high, yeah. right? Yeah. You get fucked up so easy, man. Like, <laughs> Melissa would drink, like, one drink and be drunk. Like, it's legitimately like that. Awesome. That's perfect. So, uh, yeah, a couple, that, nights, we, a couple nights, like, we had a, a good few drinks, and it was like a wobbly walk home, but it was it was good, you know? But fuck, man, the first, like, two, three days, like, I was gassed walking everywhere. Like, everywhere I'd walk, I was, like, completely yeah. out of breath, you know? Yeah. Wow, did you, did you do... this cardio was awesome. Like, she'd walk up our room, like, because it's kind of like a fancy boutique hotel. Our, we could just take the stairs to our second floor room. Yeah. And even just walk up that one stairs, like, Melissa would be, like, gassed, you know? <laughs> did you do, uh, like, proper hiking up there, or did you just... Uh, we went to that one where we took some of the pictures there. That's uh, it's called the Maroon Bells. It's like the cool mountains there. But yeah. well, we didn't hike too far into it. Like we didn't do like the full like fucking twenty kilometer hike. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. Yeah. How often do you guys get drunk? Well, I know you guys don't drink that much, but if you're gonna get drunk, how often do you get drunk with just your wife? I only ever get drunk with Melissa. I know, but do because I always find it more fun to get drunk with like A my wife, my wife, and like other people. Yeah. Hmm. So how often do you get drunk with just your wife and no one else around? Twice a year. And it's like Ben, do you do well, Ben, you don't drink that much, or do you? James drunk in the last three years. When you All right. Like, last time I had a drink, the first time I had a drink was with you guys, like Sorry. in Texas. Is that yeah. what you said, Ben? You cut out for a minute. Yeah, ben sounds a little derp. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry. Um, I can put a mic in. Do I need a no, mic? No, no, you're set. Well, no, you no, no, I think it just went it went quiet as well. Because of your internet, I think it went oh. out. Um, no, I said I didn't really drink. The, the most I've drunk in the last three years is when you boys were here. 
and I had that like a couple of shots of whiskey. I was having. I, I'll get Denise will drink and I'll get high. That's kind of. <laughs> yeah. well, find Colorado, Colorado too. I was like back in Ontario with the legal weed. You know. Yeah, yeah. I find when I'm with my wife, it's more of like a few drinks and just get a buzz. I don't get drunk. Yeah. I feel like I have to maintain a responsible. I find that difficult to do. And I don't know whether it's because I'm British. I have an all or nothing <laughs> mentality. Like if yeah. I'm going to drink and it's just a casual drink, I'd, I'd rather not bother. If I'm going to drink, I'm like, okay, we're all in. Let's go oh, fucking yeah. nuts. Yeah. I was like that. Well, you guys are, thir- I was like that. At th- I don't mean to sound like the old fucker in the crew, but when I was 30, I was like that too. I think when I hit like 40, I was like, ah, it's okay. It's okay to go for a drink and just have like three drinks. And then like, just kind of be tipsy, like a little bit, you know, catch a little buzz and have just like, yeah. Have a good laugh. I, I definitely prefer. I prefer drinking with the boys. If I'm honest, like if you lot yeah. were here, and any of you just say let's have a drink, I would do it. But if my if my missus asked me to have a drink, I'd be like, hold oh, no, on, fuck that. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, 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 it's it's really situational. Like I I I like it when people that do that live the same lifestyle as me do it because then it feels okay. Yeah, it's not, you're not, you don't feel guilty. You're like, <laughs> no, oh, they're, no, all, like they're all getting Ian, fucked up, so it's like, all right. If, if Ian drinks and he's like one of the best bodybuilders on the planet, then I'm like, yeah, it's all right to drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, sweet, fine, it's okay. I yeah, feel but, that. But you're like that with everything. You were like, I don't want to smoke a cigar. Then we all busted out a cigar. Oh, and yeah, like, you bust out a cigar, I'm joining in. You're like, I'm, I'm going to have involved. a cigar. <laughs> That's what I'm really, in, I'm, I, can, I can be influenced if the numbers are there. You know, if there's enough of you to persuade, then I'm, I'm <laughs> giving in. And it don't matter what it is. I would do anything if there's enough of you. Did you enjoy the cigar? Fucking loved it. It was great. Are you going to be a cigar guy now, cigar guy now or no? I need the no, right company. It's, 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 it's company, man. It's, the it's only when the company's around. Yeah. I need to sit and feel like I'm a fucking part of the team. I don't yeah, mind right? sitting out. Sometimes I'll sit out in my backyard and just have a cigar by myself. It's just like a peaceful, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I think I need the I need the the company, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the discussions. Because it's not just the cigar. It's, it's, the, it's the conversations that go with the cigar. If I have a cigar on my own, I'll start talking to myself. <laughs> 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 you know I mean, I'll be like, <laughs> Paul says, Paul says cigars are only for reflection. That's kind of what it felt like. When you want, when you want to reflect on life, so that's well, when I felt like we're having a reflective a, night when we were at I don't, event, I don't want to uh, reflect on life, so no, no solo cigars. <laughs> I don't mind that. Yeah. I just sit around and just, it's, it's for me, it's not reflection, it's just relax. It's just a peaceful, I could yeah. just chill. I don't know. Yeah. It's the only uh, thing I do that's relaxing, really. Everything yeah. else is kind of stressful or busy. <laughs> Um, what's going on? So when did Yannicka get there, James? Oh, uh, fucking hell. I don't remember. A few days ago. I don't know. Don't How know long is she staying that. for? She just appeared one day. I was like, oh, hello, love. <laughs> um, she's hello, here love. for three weeks. And then we'll go back to the UK together. And then I'll, I, I'll go to the embassy when I'm back. And then I'll be only be in England for a couple of weeks. And then I'll come back. And then that'd be me here for, you know. So that's it? Yeah, I can pop back home and do some stuff here and there. But yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here mostly. Holy for, um, fuck, that's fast. Yeah, literally. So, like I said to you guys, I signed for another two years, so I'm I'm at least two years involved. So that's good. So, Man, that's uh, I'm jealous because like my process for moving is like I got to get the visa, I got to sell my house. Yeah, this my quite bro- a lot of- you know my brother's my business partner too, so I got to talk to him because he's here, and like, you know we got I got to talk to him about moving and. Yeah. how that's going to work with the business and everything is that still on the is that still a discussion that's going on yeah still... no no i still want to move trust me i'm I'm having withdrawals i'm like i'm like you know windsor's cool but i want to get the fuck out of here man and yeah. ever since i moved ever since we've been there talking about it my phone is like just showing me like real estate from texas yeah. every day yeah. <laughs> so I I about, you know when you speak like your phone just knows yeah it's like it's like all day long i get like this house is for this much and this house is for this much and i'm like yeah yeah so no it is a it is a discussion i just it's man it's i don't know i'm jealous that james can just like pick up and it's, it, it's only like uh, it's just because Cam, camel has just done it as well um who's you know, that Cam, 212 camel yeah Camille, Camille. B- oh come on come on yeah yeah dpi yeah. have done his his as well so he's really? now yes yeah, so i know because i was with john at his gym the other day and um yeah he said that camel will be over i don't know where he's going to live i think he might be in florida as well but yeah he's he's coming over as well so uh, is Kamal, isn't, isn't Kamal like 48 years old something yeah. like that. 51 he's or something 50. 52 yeah he's 50 he's over 50. He, he was 50 i've seen a bit he was 50 when he, he done the olympia so yeah, yeah. you know i think it's funny Every, everybody talks about dexter and right for so but like come on like, nick Kamal held it together more than dexter physically, yeah for sure like, Kamal got better when he was 47. He got better yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 
how is this guy 50 years old and still look? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up so people, for people who don't know who we're talking about. Well, I, th- I think Dexter gets the, he's so consistent from early on yeah. all the way through, you know? It no, is, no. It, uh, yeah. Obviously, I understand the record is completely different. I'm just but, saying. But like, like Ian said, the minute the 212 appeared, come out, you got better. Yeah. yeah. Like, like he actually worked, he like physically improved, which is crazy. Like, he's, he's 50 years old here. Yeah, yeah. That's and, a he's, and he's competing with the, <laughs> competing with the two best bodybuilders in the world. And the there's nothing players. wrong with this. <laughs> I mean, he beats him <laughs> that one. Yeah, if his quads were a little bigger, he would still be the two twelve. Oh, he, yeah, he, I think if he had the flaring quads, then he probably would. Conditioning is so sharp, like yeah. yeah, like that's a crazy physique, man. Yeah, he's that. He's got that. Like he's that um, Middle East kind of fucking. Yeah, condition. He, he's the yeah. nicest man in the world as well. You know, that. is he? You see it? You look, he's oh, smile there. You see, he's so nice, man. How come everybody from the Middle East is so nice except for me? It's because I was born <laughs> he's here. He's a Brit, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. He lives uh like north of London. Yeah, um, yeah, north of London. That's a lot of places, mate. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But these guys don't have a fucking clue. Well, Ian does, but Phil, I don't. He doesn't have a fucking skin. <laughs> How does Ian um, know, and I don't? What are you talking about? Because Ian's got British in his family, bro. Yeah, he knows, I've been. He knows about it. He's been, bro. I'm, I'm Canadian. That's You've like been, half, bro, yeah. half British. That's <laughs> true. Um, okay. And then uh, I wanted to bring up this guy because he looks amazing. And not to, not oh, to he rub, did look good. Yeah, no, not no, to rub did. it, in, not to rub it in anyone's face, but holy no, no, shit, he did. he did. Look at the condition. Look at the like back double. Look at the back double there. One second. I just like I honestly, when I was watching these guys compete, I had him in second and first. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He, he looks great. Lightning peeled, man. Like, yeah. It's crazy. I, I honestly think because it was this yeah, first bad double. Show, Look at the bad double. The where, where, where? Just, uh, up and left. The one above you. The yeah, yeah. Oh, back. yeah. Shit. That's crazy. And, uh, I talked to Milos about it. And he was like, I guess he was sick like a week earlier. That's probably why he looks so good. And I was like, oh, man, that's too bad. He's not going to look great. He's like, no, no, he's still good. And then he yeah. fucking gets on stage. And I'm like, wow. Like, well, look at that most muscular there that was up top right. Yeah, up a bit more. Up high, up high, up high. Yeah, that that's, one there. Oh, that, that one. That's Milos. Okay. One above it. Uh, yeah. one. Look at the grain. Crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, like, that's the pitch has got a little bit of a, but that's not that. You can still see the grain in the chest. You can still see the thinness and the yeah, tightness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a perfect peak there. I mean, even his face. Look how lean his fucking face looks yeah. like. You know, it's he funny looks- you said that, James. That is a perfect peak. This is yeah. always, you know, people. I shouldn't say people. It's it's um. This the thin skin with the totally full muscle is like full muscle, a, thin skin, no it's water. Such a hard thing to achieve, like this so 100 percent bang on, like yeah, it's all ratios, isn't it? Like it all has to swing one way or the other, and he's just there's, there's that balance. Because you see guys, because like, you see guys who are shredded, but, but they're it's, not like, but popping. they're not like this thin skin, really full muscle, but still completely uh, dry. Well, look, at the, look at the look at the brachialis on that, that, that his left arm, the one that you were just like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like you can just see it's just there. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Quad I, uh, separation. Hands chest are great. Well. Are crazy. The Hands one thing are nice I, as well. So I had Milos on the podcast yesterday, and I we just got talking about so much stuff. I forgot to ask him half the shit I want to ask him, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask him about this guy because I wanted because he I'm said he, he said he insulin loaded some guys and not others, and I want to know which guys he used yeah. insulin with and which guys he didn't because none of these guys look like they're loaded with like. None of these guys look like insulin users to me, but if you could tell, but yeah, but I feel like insulin loading won't make you worry. I think if anything, it will draw water. Uh, I feel like d- people depends. when he in- ah, on it. like I, 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 I know when I've used insulin, I usually look less worry. My okay. thing, my thing with insulin Hello. is it, I, I know you guys, coaches, both the coaches here, know more. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say when I've used insulin, I feel like it's not as safe. Like you can yes. go up, up or down, yeah. and that's the, yeah. the scary part with it for yeah, me. I've, 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 I've done. I've done because I work with Milos, right? Yeah. I've done a Milos insulin peak. And how was it? Tell us about it. Yeah, I was waiting. I was waiting for what's next. I've just done one. Oh, okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go into too much detail because it's. I don't think he cares. Like his thing, but it's you weren't too keen. We, we used a couple of diuretics, obviously. Wait, oh, you, cut you cut out. You cut out. You're on the, on the fundamental you, component. You got me? Hello? Yeah, yeah, Hello? go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we used uh, two different types of diuretics to manage aldosterone in the water. And then we loaded carbohydrates and we loaded insulin. And I was full and fucking peeled. Well, dry. Yeah, yeah. Very, very dry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good. 
but I'll, but I'll it, be honest. It works. I'll tell, tell, tell you one thing that we, <laughs> that we slightly missed on it is my water came down a bit too much. Yeah, because you need the fluid. And then when I put water back in, then I really popped and came to life. And it was yeah, only yeah. a matter of like an hour or two yeah. after yeah. the peak. Yeah. Yeah. But the water made a huge difference. Water's back. everything. That's why I was writing on the post this morning. I was making sure I said food and water and water because everyone thinks it's just food. It's not like the food doesn't do shit if there's yeah. not enough fluid to yeah. help with the you know, you know uptake. I, I, there's a very, this is very broad speaking, but I think if you have a diuretic diuretic in play, you keep have water. to keep water in. Hmm. I have uh, to, to an extent, you know. Yeah. I have two experiences with insulin loading with Chad and one was my, one of my best looks ever, but the other one was I missed my peak. And the, and the thing was when I first went on, like if I showed you a video from it, you guys would be like, no, that's your best look. But the problem was it was my best look for the individual posing round. Yeah. And then it started to, by the time I had come back for the comparisons, yeah. every, everything spilled over and I couldn't even yeah. feel, I couldn't even feel anything. It looked like I didn't even diet. Yeah. So, so what did you do? Did you, how long was it between those two things? It was 26. Well, you you'd think it was 26 minutes because it was 26 guys. I was the first yeah. guy out for wow. individuals. <sighs> then everybody else went and then they yeah. did, com- and then they did the comparisons. Well, that just shows and you how it's it, so hard to, to rectify. But that's why I don't like insulin. Cause when I work with John, we didn't use any insulin. We just loaded yeah. properly. I could fucking hold my peak for fucking hours. It's like Ben says, isn't it? The margin for error is there. If you that's get right. it right, you can have the best I, I, yeah, fucking probably look ever. I, 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 that's if what I mean. Wrong. I think you can hit a better, you can hit a potentially better look with everything being perfect. But, but it's, the like, it's trying to shoot a fucking moving target. That's and it's right. Yeah. Hard that's right. to do. That's yeah. right. So those two. Th- that's what. So I was really happy we were going to insulin load because the first time we did it, man, I loaded with like. Uh, I think I've told the story before, but one meal was mile high chocolate cake. So I'd get a piece of chocolate cake like literally this fucking big. Oh yeah. With a uh, A and W double cheeseburger. That's one meal. The next meal was chicken and rice. So he's like, just alternate those two meals for the next two days. <laughs> so it. I did that. Oh listen, so I, listen, so I did that with insulin. I did it Wednesday. I did it third, and then we were also taking uh, 25 milligrams of aldactone AMP. Yeah. yeah, start, yeah. Okay. Start, starting Wednesday morning, right? So I did that Wednesday. I did it Thursday. I woke up Friday morning. I looked like I hadn't even dieted. I was big as a fucking house. Fucking blown. And just so everybody knows, before we started this, I was so flat. Like Chad was notorious for like, you would think you were ready. And then Chad would be like, no, no, we got to go further. Yeah. And he would pull me down to like the point where I looked like I was lost all my muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we would start loading and he would fucking load me till Friday morning when I was like watery, yeah, and, but, and but, fuck, but huge. Yeah. And then he would start reducing carbs. And he would give me a diuretic, usually like a Demodex or something like at yeah. 2 p.m. Yeah. Like he'd give me a half of one. Yeah. And then another, another one, uh, yeah, probably yeah. around like midnight. 10, 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'd wake up and I woke up in the yeah, morning. Perfect. Montreal yeah. Pro uh, 2008. I was fucking bang on. I'm like, you, the thing is, you won't just wake up flat. You wake up full. Yeah. You'll be about three quarters full with your tank because you've lost yeah. a quarter overnight. Yeah. And that's all sub Q. Yeah. And you're just ready. I had that. I had that look Baru's had i had that like thin skin but really full and popping and i was like holy shit so the next time we did it was a year later and i'm like oh perfect we're gonna insulin load and i got completely fucked (laughs) i was like i came out looking great and then milos's insulin load is a lot more precise Uh, yeah everyone's different i did you know there was no burgers and mile high cakes <laughs> but chad's, with, chad's known for that kind of like he's yeah, like yeah. different different style right the, the, the one thing that's like resonates really like the incident load has to be done off the back of a very depleted body yes like i think yeah. that's why regan looked so good at the shows i don't know if he did insulin i'm not sure yeah. but obviously he's working yeah. in minos yeah i know they did a few days super, yeah they, they they pulled him down super low yep. for multiple days and then i imagine they did their load with that and he had his best condition and fullness to date yeah, I, I think I, I did like from the Friday to the Monday, we'll virtually zero carb, like just yeah. fucking nothing. And that's old school. That's what old school doing. guys do. Like when I used to work with Steve Avery, like we'd get to like that last, the week before the show and on like the weekend before the show, we'd literally go the lowest we've ever gone and pull me right fucking down. We didn't use insulin, but we would load quite heavy and yeah. it did work. Yeah. But with insulin, it probably would have been 
you know, if you did it right, it would have been even better. But I feel like it's not worth it, man, because you're like, you die for 16 weeks or 12 weeks or whatever it That's is. That's the problem, then you, isn't it? And yeah. then, like, you have this window of perfection. And if you're on either side of it, you just, I don't know, you're like, it, you just fucking screwed your three months worth of prep. It's one of them, though, and it's like, do you want that one time where you got that one look that was just exceptional when you get pictures of it and you're like, yes. And then every other time, it's, every other fucking time, it doesn't work. But you're like, yeah, but look at that one time. Yeah. Or do you want to be a more consistent bodybuilder who does well in all their shows, but maybe never quite gets the look that you know you're capable of? Like you're like, I, I, I've because a lot of us have used insulin like during like rebounds or times around shows, but not on the show itself. And like loved how we look. I just wonder, you know, it's just, I, it's just uh, one of them questions, isn't it? I would take the second option because with yeah. with, with John. I would say my look was probably, you know, 96% yeah. versus so high enough to warrant. Yeah. But I'm like, but I could, we could have repeated it. Yes. Like numerous times. We did repeat it actually like two or three times that year. So it's like, yeah. I feel like it's, yeah, you could probably achieve a higher standard with a little bit of trickery, mm. but I'd rather be more like Dexter fucking and just kind well, of. Well, that's like me and Patrick, like, since we figured out something that's worked, like I didn't keep it very. And I was like within 2% of every, every show. Yeah. Was all You're very that. like right yeah. there every time. We yeah, just I wondering the same thing with the small differences that we kind of regulate as it goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works perfect. I only used insulin one, one show with Dennis James. That's it. I was just going to ask you that. So just one time was uh, Toronto pro 2015. The second pro show I did after you won Orlando. Yeah. The next show I did, I did Toronto four weeks after that. And I was like 16 pounds heavier. We just like pounded yeah, insulin. Before we- did you look, did you look good though? I came fifth. I looked good. I looked a lot bigger. I mean, I was like two fifty. You know, no. In, like in, your, in your opinion, though, like the way you looked, was it like better or worse or softer or what? What do you think? My conditioning was good. Like I had strided glutes and like I looked good. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I I was a little too full. I think for like where I lost a bit of quad separation because the lines were kind of pushed out. Sure. Like, yeah, like I looked way, I looked way bigger than how much muscle I had at the time. Like compared to Orlando, like Orlando, I was peeled out of my mind, but I was like two twenty five, you know, yeah, smaller. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so like I, you know, and then I was significantly bigger in that show, and it might have been a more competitive look in that lineup. Yeah. Um, but I, I just like being fucking peeled, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm yeah. thinking maybe that's why, like maybe you know, like someone like Max Charles, who when he gets it right, it looks incredible, mm. and then other times he doesn't even get a look in. Maybe because, you know, he obviously works with Milos. So maybe it's that they're doing that thing. And like we're saying, sometimes it's hitting, sometimes it's missing. But with Milo, not Milo, sorry. With Max, I feel like it's more like lineup dependent. Yeah. If he's standing in the right lineup, he, yeah, gets, a, yeah, he yeah. gets a major look. And if he's, he's standing in the- He's got to be crispy though. Think of Max, he's got to be crispy. The thing with yeah. Max is he just loses so much ground from the back. Like yeah, his, yeah, he's his much better in the front. uniform front to back. Like his abs yeah. and his chest and stuff they're are solid. like- They're dry thing like cross straighted chest crazy tight midsection and then like his back will be like kind of off, yeah. it's not just hand, man, you know it's not just um conditioning it's just development his development yeah. and his chest and abs is like way yeah. ahead of is, is pro level it's world class and then from the back it's almost i don't want to say amateur but like it's not the nearly yeah, yeah his back it's is not, not is not developed like the front and his yeah. hamstrings are not developed and it's just so yeah, yeah. You're right. When he turns around, that's the uh, yeah loses ground. That's the issue. Um, anyway, what else is going on? Anything good going on this week? I'm going to Vegas on Saturday. I thought yeah, I saw. I thought you were. I was going to go. I was going to go. Yeah, I was going to go. But blessings, weddings on Wednesday. Uh, there's a dinner, so I've got to stay for. The, I wanted to stay for the dinner, so I'm going to go on Saturday. Go and catch up. Do a couple of sessions with Jamie. Probably get twenty to your head. Pat was laughing. He's like, Are "You looking forward to giant sets?" I was like, "No, I'd rather not." But it's kind of just, I'm going to go and catch up and just do it and just get beaten up and probably get filmed and look like a dickhead. I brought, um, you guys, I brought you guys up to Milos. So, Ian, I don't know if anybody told you or you watched it, but uh, Milos apologized to you in the podcast. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. You went for two hours interviewing Milos and didn't correct him for saying Ian's name wrong ever. I know, it was great. I can't keep saying it. I thought it was awesome. Like, what was he saying? Yawn. He kept calling yeah. you yawn. Yeah, that but may be his, how he accent. pronounced it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's his accent. Yeah, it I'm not going to be like, "Hey, your accent's wrong." Like, that's not really. Uh, on, that's on, not really on, being on, a good yeah, host. On, like on home soil, he probably speaks that. I'm not going to be like, "Hey, you want to come on my podcast?" And then like berate him for like saying words wrong. <laughs> you that you that to me though. Yeah, but that's okay. We're friends. Um, <laughs> no, uh, so he apologized to you on the podcast for whatever mix up you guys have had online. So that was cool. But then we also talked about you, James, because we were talking. The conversation led to. 
uh, training heavy yeah. and how you can, how you can not train heavy and still grow because he was talking about, you know, training and being dangerous and shortening your career and having injuries and all this stuff. And I said dangerous. to him and I said to him, well, cause we were talking about, he actually brought up Ian and he's like, you know, sometimes I see Ian deadlifting and I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like, I've actually said to Ian, like, you, you have to deadlift eight plates, like two weeks out from a show. <laughs> yes. Um, so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so we were talking about that and I had brought up you and hack squatting like 10 plates and shit. And he said, you know, he did say something interesting though. He's like, look, you know, cause I said to him, what are these guys supposed to do? He's like, if, if you can bench four plates for fucking 15 reps, it's only natural that you're going to put four and a quarter on or five on. Yeah. So it's not their fault that they're that strong. And he goes, no, he goes, there are freaks like that. And that's, you know, the way it is. He's like, but he's like, you could make it. And then we were talking about the hack squat and he's like, you could make five plates on a hack squat feel like 10. If you did this, if you slowed your rep down, if you did a pause in the middle, blah, 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 blah. So he's using all these rep speed. Yeah. And, rep I've done that. and Patrick techniques. does that though. Patrick does do that with me and Ian. And yeah, that's usually followed up. Me. Yeah. And it's normally after when we've done the set, like we've done. So, yeah. you know, we'll do this set that you consider super heavy or whatever. And then they'll be followed up with something very much along those lines, which is like tempo controlled or yeah. You know, mechanical, mechanical tension is always the foundation. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. You still got to get like, I think anything after those sets that are, you know, pure force is great, but I think you have to always have the skeleton of the force. So Ben, you know, it's, inter that it's interesting. You said that cause I was talking to Brad Schoenfeld about this. So when you say mechanical tension is the base, you're talking about just your strength and intensity of the of Power what of power. what you're lifting, and when I say intensity, yeah. I mean the weight. Like you yeah, make. the amount of load that is applied to that. Yeah, the, the muscle. Yeah. So Completely. you're saying the amount of, the amount of tension that is on the muscle at any one point. So are you saying there's if okay, let's say ten plates is your ten rep max, right, on a hack squat. Yeah. Are you saying yeah. that five plates done with like a slower rep speed or a different cadence or whatever can't give you the same amount of mechanical tension no matter what you do to it yeah i think so yeah i think you can't okay yeah okay that's interesting i, think I mean I it, think it causes great stimulus and it's yeah, a great it, addition yeah it, it, it's a different stimulus but it is not mechanical maximizing tension. mechanical tension and brad schoenfeld when i had him on the podcast said the same thing that mechanical tension was the main driver of yeah, uh, yeah like, like you you do everything right? i always go i say to all my guys like execution and tempo are like have to be perfect hmm. and then once they're perfect and uniform you get as strong as you can with that respecting those parameters respecting those um execution like, like factors right yeah, yeah. but I you think... always are trying to at no point would you ever tell any athlete to not get as strong as possible if everything is per in a vacuum yeah. and perfect okay so I'm gonna there's play no reason why you wouldn't i'm gonna play devil's advocate for a minute and and james just so a suggestion it might be interesting for you guys if you train together with milos and all that if oh, yeah, no listen i'm always interested no no in no, no the thing i want to say is if you because i didn't get to ask him because i didn't think of it yeah, but yeah. after you guys train maybe if you guys can do film you just asking him i'm yeah. curious how i'm curious how he feels about that because i think i think what he's saying and i'm going to try and maybe think of what he's saying or play devil's advocate what if you already have the size you need I, I do because, think because you can one of, certainly one, maintain a certain amount of size if you're huge. Well, one of, the things you, one of the things he's saying is longevity, right? Like maintaining yeah. your tendons, maintaining your joints, maintaining yeah. your – without getting injured. So if you already have the size, is can you still get better without doing the 10 plates and having just different tempo, different rep speed, different um, – You know, my, my head says, like, obviously, if the, if, the op, if, the op, if the goal is to increase size of muscle, then no. But if you do have all the muscle – required and you are literally just trying to maintain the muscle and i know it sounds cheesy but like craft the body increase like the I detail do, and yeah I, yeah I think you can kind of hang around there but you know because of my own personal position and situation i need more muscle so therefore i can't forego these these types of sets that i have to do because ultimately yeah. that's what i need yeah. um but like let's say dennis wolf at his peak i think dennis wolf at his peak was probably training very much like that a lot yeah. um because he was kind of not maxed out, but he was pretty much where he needed to be. Well, Nick, um, Nick has started like that. Nick, yeah, is, Nick's very, very about contraction quality and Nick tempo has like and, lowered the weights, like uh, yeah. up the volume and, and really like squeezing the shit. Like that's they yeah. change a lot because they're like he has all the muscle in the world, but he, he needs need like refinement and detail. You know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I do think it's very warranted, but I think it depends where you are in your 
physical development. Mm. Yeah, here's here's what I'll say to that. And if you remove all of the tendons, joints, injuries, etc., the most optimal way for a muscle to grow is to place it under the most amount of tension possible. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. That's why I grow. That's the no, way no, no, no. Then, I, I, then, like, then you have all the other things coming. Okay, well, I'm 33 years old. I need this and that. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. Maybe I need to look at other fa- factors. But I'm just saying, on yeah. paper, the most in clinically optimal way to to make a muscle grow is to place it under the most amount of load possible. And and I'm sure with Milos doing that giant sets net, you still have an objective of trying to get stronger on those giant sets. Like mm. by week six on the giant sets you put in place, I'm pretty sure he wants you to be doing a few more pounds. On I, those I, I remember, so I actually started working. James, you know the show I did, British Finals, I did with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The day I after is when I started working with Milos, right? The very next day. And I was doing the two, one, two, one, two, one with him. Yeah, yeah. And I remember messaging him after the first exercise of chest and be like, Milos, I benched one plate aside. I can't move. The pump is agony. Like it's fucking <laughs> excruciating. And he replied, went, ha, ha, ha. You're complaining about being too pumped. And that was all he replied. I was like, yeah. right, get on with it. But, that, but it was well, like, well, I what's couldn't wrong with fucking that? move. No, no, it's not. I'm not. It's just, it was so different. And I gave it a whirl. Like, that's what I mean. Like yeah. I'm very much in my camp of lift heavy, but I've tried, I've done other stuff. Right? Yeah, it's not like yeah. I haven't. I'd say, like, he had me that first exercise. It was one plate aside, and I was, like, squeezing the shit out of it, and I was, like, it was fucking agony. I let go of the bar, and I was, like, fuck, everything hurts. It just felt like the skin was going to fucking split yeah, in half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I was eating, I was doing 13 feeds a day, right, whether yeah. it was a meal or a shake, a meal or an amino shake. Yeah, I remember I remember looking at it. It might have been your fucking diet, and it was, like, there was things highlighted in, like, red, and there was, like, EAA yeah. that's pulsing. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you have, have a, EAAs like every other fucking hour. You have an amino shake. You eat a meal and then uh, forty-five minutes to an hour later is an amino shake, and then you eat a meal an hour later. Then an amino. There was shake. aminos all like there was no protein all day. <laughs> like there was no yeah. moment where protein wasn't being ingested. I think for me, it's the way I, I need to train from now on. I don't think for me, I should be trying to lift heavy anymore because I'm forty-three and I'm like fucking f- frail as fuck. <laughs> so I think uh, it's I think, situational. I think I'm gonna adopt Milos's is, technique. Go ahead. I think the biggest thing is I just enjoy training this way. Oh, you don't know, get like, me wrong. Yeah, whether, but, you know whether it's like the most conducive to whatever. Like I just enjoy it more, and I want to be able to enjoy. It. Like I want to look forward to my training every day. And when it's like it's a challenge to be stronger and lift heavier, yeah, and like these yeah. things, those challenges excite me and make me excited for my training. And I think that is more important than anything to me. You know, okay, it's like so- whether it's two percent less effective or not i could care less i just want to go in and love training and doing you know 12 plates for fucking you know eight hard reps is more fun than putting five plates on and going super duper slow on the concentric and eccentric and making as hard as possible like that's great and there will be a time where that's probably the most conducive thing for me to do but i'm young i might feel good like i want to enjoy the training as i can while my body can make it right so yeah. the, the, again, I'll be I'll play the old fucker on the on the the show. That's how I felt, but I think the problem was I felt like that for too long, and then yeah. you're and that and that's really fun until it's no longer fun anymore, because mm-hmm. you're like, all I want to do is train heavy, and it's really it's all you live for, and it's all you want to do until injuries start holding you back, and then you're like, this isn't fun anymore, man. I'm in here, I'm trying to lift heavy, my fucking knees are killing me, my fucking groin hurts. And you're like, you're like we were trying to train legs when we were when I was in Dallas with you guys, and my calf's all fucked up, and I'm like, my yeah. groin hurts. I can't do this, can't do that. So training heavy is fun until you can't, and then you're like, okay, so so you're right. So I think the problem is though, is trying to catch it before it's too late. Like maybe when I was 36, had I started training like a little bit more, like Milo suggested, but it increased I, longevity. I would I would increase my longevity more than. But didn't you kind of? How old were you when you started working with Meadows? Because I think you shift your training a little bit with him anyway. It my training changed, but it was still as heavy as I could. Uh, like I never lifted heavy like Ian or James, but it was heavy for me. So like, you know, we would still be doing 14 plates on a leg press or fucking, you know, seven plates on a hack or like four plates on a bench. Like th- those numbers were heavy for me. So we changed the training style, but he still wanted me to do those heavy sets. And mm. it, it worked. My body got better. But then I think you ha- at some point you have to grab your physique and go, okay, wait a minute. I'm getting older now. I think I might need to switch things up a bit. All I'm saying is I think Milos offers 
a good um alternative. it's a good alternative because me and paul have been talking about how are we going to change our training so that we can still keep training and enjoying bodybuilding yeah, without yeah. being fucking hurt because paul's 49 yeah, yeah yeah sure so i think this is the alternative for us the right? good thing is obviously you got your own training space as well so giant sets are not hard to pull off you know yeah, when you're trying to do I, giant set in a busy gym it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean it I, I do remember there's a story of Emilio, didn't he tear his quad doing a hack squat and then carried on? Like, the guy's done heavy shit. Oh, he's insane. He's like, insane. So, because we're all taking Milos of where he is right now as well, right? But yeah. Milos has done fucking a lot Most of stuff. shit, like a lot of heavy stuff, yeah. Like, so I do value, I'm not saying I, I completely disagree with him. I, I think like James said, and what you're saying is it's situational. Yeah. Like I was actually having this conversation the other day because I've, I've moved, I put squatting back in just because like, I'm, I have that mentality that Ian has, I, I love my training. Yeah, and that's one for a long enjoy. for a long time. Yeah, for a long time, Pat was like, "Don't worry about squatting because you're efficient at it. It's not going to boost your legs." So I focused. I put it back in, but I put it in right at the end of my sessions, and I'm like, "It's a bit of an ego check because I know if I put it at the beginning of the session, I can lift a shit up more than this." Yeah, yeah. And then, I, but that had me like extrapolate out. I'm like, "Okay, well, what happens when I'm 40, 45? Like right now, my only enjoyment of training is progression. It's yeah. weight, like Ian said, it's like getting on." fuck i'm stronger than last week that's awesome yeah. but at some point i can't be stronger than i was last week see that's um, not that's where i'm different i've never been like a like the strength thing has never been my measurement for like whether no yeah. no but i think for ian and james and myself it probably is more so than yeah. you are yeah definitely and, and i'm james and ian are in no they're in the middle of the tunnel right they're not looking at the end of the tunnel i'm more looking to at the end of the tunnel right now just because like we discussed, am I going to carry on beating myself into the ground for no reason? So it's, it's like, well, what do I get out of training? Because I fucking hate fluffy training. Yeah. But it doesn't you know, happen. I'm like, so, yeah. like, I'm having this battle in my head because I'm like, well, if I let go of competitive bodybuilding, do I also let go of the heavy training? Because that's what, I re that's what got me into bodybuilding is the heavy fucking training. Yeah. You know, I didn't start... I didn't start training because I wanted to be a bodybuilder. I became yeah. a bodybuilder because I was training. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And I think it, you're right about Milos too. And it's funny you say that about a lot of different people. Like, um, well, John trains light, you know, John, because John made a lot of videos about training light. I'm like, John used to squat 500 pounds for, I think John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1999, he put a video up, right? 1999 or some shit. He did 500 shit, like five pounds for like 25 yeah. reps or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like John yeah. He, was like Tom, yeah. he was like Tom Blatt's. Yeah, John didn't train fucking light at all. And that's funny that you say that because we see videos now. They're like, well, that guy trains light. I'm like, no, nah. I'm like, you don't build legs like John's fucking yeah. lifting light. Trust me. It's the same yeah. thing with Kai. If you look at Kai train now, yeah, I've seen him fuck a berry seven plate squats and five plate incline press. Oh, yeah, he's fucking menace when he wants to be. Yeah, so, I remember watching those videos when he was like in his prime and he's getting ready for the Olympia. And I'm like, overkill. Yeah, I'm like, holy fuck, this guy's strong as fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Actually, that reminds me, James, what's it like training with Kai? Yeah, so I haven't had like a, what I would say, a proper session with him because when I've trained with him for a couple of times, it's more, to be fair, more like trying to understand him and picking his brains. And obviously yeah. he likes to talk. Yeah. Um, but I know that he's obviously, he's keen to get some like proper nasty sessions in. So I will. And when I do, I will let you know how they are because he's got a lot of energy, man. And like I can imagine he'll probably tear me apart. Because he doesn't need to stop. Like he's the kind of guy that can go, go, go. Mm. Um, he's he's an abnormal. Like he's not normal. Is he overrated? Um, like Ian says. Uh, <laughs> depends what you depends what you, you what you think of him. I think he's. Um, That's an opinion, Fuad. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just had to. Just had I to think see um, I, what I want to see from Kai personally is the old Kai from Overkill when he's talking about Ronnie Coleman being savage mentally. Oh, and, that's my uh, favorite clip. To, to unleash that because Kai's still got that guy in him. It's just he doesn't show it often. But I've had some conversations and that side of Kai gets tickled and it starts to come out. So if I can get a few sessions with Kai, if, if someone like me and Ian trained with Kai for a few days or weeks, he would just turn into a savage again. I think that's all he needs. He just needs a little bit of challenge from someone else and you'll see it. So I don't know. I'm going to see if we can kind of awaken a little bit of that. I'd like him to compete one more time. You know, oh, more Arnold. He's like 46, man. 47. <laughs> really? Yeah. I heard... Uh, other people that have trained with him have told me like he'll do like 45 minutes of like 
abs and then oh, yeah, do, like yeah, yeah. adductors and they'll do like all this weird like just stretchy Bro. body do every stuff. pull every pull down that's existed and he'll then he'll the get into like after all that he'll get then he'll get into like yeah and he'll movement. do behind the neck pull down in front pull down close grip pull down reverse grip pull down like everything like it's not like how we train it's very yeah. different yeah i think it'd be hard to get him to do a session that consisted of only six exercises yeah, yeah <laughs> really, be, 10 really sets total yeah, yeah. And he I would do five why, sets on everything. Yeah. I wonder why never nobody ever uses Kai as the example of what to do. Because Kai was like extreme in every he way. He's not normal. Yeah, but he's not normal. That's Can't something. use freaks to set. Yeah, but Ronnie, oh. Ronnie's not normal, and people use Ronnie. No, but no one, well, they do, but they don't. <clears throat> they don't no one lifts like no one lifts like Ronnie. No, no, but people are like, well, Ronnie trained twice a day and fucking, but you know what I mean? Like they'll use him for. You know, what? I think things. it's because Kai isn't very transparent with what he does. Like you don't really know. He's well, there's elusive. one thing. Like one thing is like everybody knows Kai was like way overloaded on protein. He would do like oh, mate. like still is yeah. So dude, he has nobody shapes. ever says that though. Nobody ever says well, Kai used to eat seven hundred right. grams of protein. He leaves the gym after cardio, yeah, like or anything, and he grabs two MRE um, ready to drink shakes. They're forty grams of protein each. Yeah, so he bangs eighty grams of protein just, just after cardio. Yeah, just after cardio. <laughs> like, what's he doing for the rest of the day? Like, he literally eats probably hundred grams of protein per meal. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, though, is nobody uses that for and, – and whether you like his physique or not, he's demonstrated that he's built a ton of muscle. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like – but nobody ever uses his techniques. Well, Kai does three-hour training sessions. Nobody ever says that. It's too, know, like, do you know what? It's because it's just too lengthy. No one wants to fuck No one wants to do it. That's, that's what I was going to say. No I think it's too, it's too hard. To it's do like, oh, yeah. he's just, it's just you just look at it. And you're I, like, also think, I think if someone else did try doing that, they would break themselves yeah. down into oblivion. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Ronnie, no one could like. You have these guys that genetically can recover and take that kind of punishment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not everyone is the same. And I listen to Amido. It's like I, I me and I chat quite. I've known him for a number of years now. But it's like you. He and he was talking about people dropping off of his way of training. I'm like, yeah, because yeah. we all have different athletic capabilities. Yeah. We all have different recovery capabilities. You can't put everybody on two a day training. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, some guys get away with it. Some guys can train four times a day. Hmm. Listen, I've some always, I've always, can't. I've always tickled the idea of two a day, and then I wake up in the morning and I go, "Nah, fuck it." <laughs> I, I did it for like four weeks, and I was destroyed after. Yeah, that. yeah, we've talked about that. I've yeah, that was the same experience I had, but I've never done two a days with like eighty percent workouts, which is not something you guys can do. But like for me, it's so, what so I'm when doing. I. I fucked myself because when I started working with him, I was doing nine a week, right? So it was two, one, two, one, two, one, something off. Yeah. And Luke said, well, fuck, I'm not doing that. So he said, what I'll do is I'll come in on your Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays where you're doing doubles. Luke yeah. was like, I'll come in, I'll come in and do the second session with you. And then on the Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, I'll just do the morning session with you. Yeah. And I was like, cool. So I went through and did my normal session on a Monday and then I'd have to do a Luke session yeah, on a Monday yeah. afternoon, yeah, on a Monday that. afternoon. Yeah, fuck that. It was bollocks. It doesn't work. Like that doesn't work. I think if you've got to no, do it, you, you, you do need to really, back you really have to taper back. The session can't be a balls out session. No, volume and everything has to be counted. One, one sec. This is this is what uh, this is my favorite Kai. I haven't seen this in ages. This, this is going to make us want to go and. Oh, we're all going to want to go train on what I want to do. I found my passion. I've created my true calling in life. I'm living life on my terms. Do you remember your first contest? Um, yes, sir. The first competition I ever done. Yeah, I was about four, about fourteen or so, and it was the first time in my life that I ever experienced. Um, a success that had nothing to do with uh, my pedigree, you know, where I came from, um, had more and all to do with just my own ability to work really hard. And if I work hard at it, you know, um, I could I could achieve something that was in my own hands to do. Yeah, that is great. Can't deny like those simple words are. They Zasty. resonate with all of us. Yeah, those are the old Zasty videos. Zasty That's videos yeah. are great, yeah. No, but he, that, yeah, that resonates with us all that. So the only thing I say, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Kai Green answers are so long and they don't make any sense and blah, blah. I'll be honest, his when he does make sense. It's a lot of sense. He articulates, <laughs> he articulates bodybuilding better than anybody else. 
like oh, i've God. i've heard i've seen him in clips talk about like what it's like to get second place at the olympia and what oh, it's like yeah. to squat 500 pounds and like when he talks about it you're like it's almost like he can say it better than anybody else for yeah, some reason I don't know, he just... well that's why like i say you gotta give him a chance and if you do catch him and have a conversation with him there will be some gold in there somewhere and that gold is enough to warrant the time it took to get that answer you know, <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, it's like ninety yeah, yeah. percent. Yeah, like, like, okay. I mean, yeah, like I'm probably like okay, I've got this stuff to sit down for two hours, but there's going to be something in here somewhere that I can extract, <laughs> and and, it, and it's worth it. Like he honestly is, and he is a very good person. I have to say, you know, like I'm just some like Kai is one of the few people that here will met, drop me a message after we've done a day of filming or something, and almost talk to you like a parent and say, "Well done today, man. It was so good to see you in your element doing." doing your thing it's great to see how the human you're becoming you know like yeah, yeah you gotta say shit like that and that's a that's a that's an icon in the industry of what, what, what you know what we do is bodybuilding he's one of the top people and when i when i receive messages from people like him like that it's kind of um it's uh hard to kind of digest because you just think yeah. wow yeah well it's always great to get messages from fans about what you're doing but when you get those kind of messages from your peers or even yeah. people like that you look up, look up to, you're like, Absolutely. holy fuck, you know? Well, you're these like, people were once, you know, out of reach, like originally, you know, you never thought you'd even look, like be on the same stage as them or be in the same room as them. And then now we're, we're floating around with these people now, you know? Hmm. Um, you guys want to do some questions? Yeah. I'm Ian, you're re- relatively quiet today. What's going on? Chill, bro. Well, quiet. We're all just chatting. I don't want to interrupt anybody, you know? You're you've taken yeah. on a different persona in this podcast. <laughs> He's mellow. It's good. Ian's never he, act, he, he acts according to the environment. Yeah, he's like, we wait a ta- yeah, we haven't talked about anything that's getting me too rattled up. Yeah, we're not really talking about like sticking things up people's asses and shit. So it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's been pretty this mellow. Is, this, this is, is kind civilized. of gentleman's this is the gentleman's chat, you know. You know that. So, I, the boat <clears throat> so I've been thinking about this uh privately, but I want to have this conversation openly, and I guess the fans can chime in. Sure. And uh, and comment in the comment section. To tell me what they think. So, and I think Ben's alluded to this a little bit. So everybody thinks the group chats are all bro chats. Not everybody, but a lot of people think they're just all bro chats. And obviously, there's the bodybuilding and bollocks that started first, and then bro chat came after. I'm trying to decide if we keep everything the way it is, or if we just have everything is just bro chat, or everything is just bodybuilding and bollocks just to simplify it because people don't know what's what and we're all crossing over different shows anyways. So I'm like, Bro, they need to fucking educate uh, themselves. It, yeah. So it's not our fault. They're fucking thick. Yeah. <laughs> bastards. Come they on, have to remember hard. two. It's two fucking titles. They can't remember <laughs> that. Bodybuilding and bollocks is when there's two or more British people within the chat. <laughs> yeah. And bro <laughs> chat is when there's less than one. <laughs> 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 Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you. I don't know. No, no. It, I like no, it being bro chat can be one. Bro chat can be one because it was originally through Adelaide. That's right. That's so right. bro chat has British origins too. Oh shit! This is what I'm saying. It's like and then you're flooded. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get shitty for a minute, but I just I'm gonna just just I'm with Ben and James, so I I want to talk. Get about shitty. So, get shitty. Uh, so Luke is on the thumbnail for bodybuilding and bollocks and part of yes. the reason why i don't want to get rid of bodybuilding and bollocks is because that was luke. me me and luke's show so i want to keep that uh as part of his memory 100%. is that that way forever or is it ever change i don't know i don't know be interesting to know what the you know the the the, the genuine the the, the true audience believes and feels for that like just to have an understanding of how they feel because i think it's a great thing that you do that yeah on a I'll, never, I'll never i'll never i'll but yeah i'm too biased i'll never let it go yeah and you know oh, i'm not ben's asking still to keeping let it go us just... the Saturday sundays and i think it's good that in our own ways that we keep things like <clears> they <throat> are but that's up to you okay. look no i know i know no and, and that's that's kind of how i feel too i'm just like i'm almost talking to the fans because the fans all just recognize they seem to recognize bro chat more yeah so i don't know how the fans feel i guess is more with the the talk yeah see what they think yeah yeah you guys can comment in the comment section tell us what you think yes it's always worth asking you do a poll you have an opinion about it ian (laughs) (laughs) he he was fucking with us i was like oh no yeah i mean look (laughs) 
I think you should just keep it as it is. I mean, I don't really see the, the issue. I mean, it's, you know, I think the sto- shows are distinguishable. I, you know, I don't think it's that complicated. I mean, and people still watch the shows. I don't really see what it matters, you know? Yeah, just a mile. They the free, the free, the free, they'll go on the same channel. Frequency. You That's know right. how my brain is. It's just over. They'll go on the same channel, right? It's not two yeah. separate channels. No, it's all the same channel. So, yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it does overthink everything. I overthink. If you had everything. two separate channels, and like one of them was say was getting way more views than the other. Million and views and getting, one. Yeah, and yeah. I would just be like, okay, whatever channel's thriving better, let's put both the shows or you know combine them into one show and put them on the same channel. But I mean, fuck that. I mean, I also think, you know, this is the one where your show started. And you have the Luke is you know the yeah the the picture and stuff. I think that should stay. You know. Yeah. Okay. James, how do you know I overthink everything? Well, we all know you overthink everything. <laughs> just like it's your middle name. Because after you've called so me, I, I called, I called James. I'm like, fucking hell, he's called me again. <laughs> we, have, we have another group chat, which is you like have a separate like, group chat without me in it. It's another <laughs> WhatsApp yeah. group called Things Who Had Overthinks. <laughs> yeah. the, the list is yeah. forever growing. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, it's just where you're at in life. You know, you're just a thinker. Oh no, I've always done this. This has like yeah. been me uh, since I was fucking. I'm the same. Five years old. Well, you're le- what I mean is you're less distracted by bodybuilding, so it's more obvious. Like you're not balls deep in prep. I'm overthinking so, other yeah. things. That's all. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, know, you know, I was I was thinking the other day that that uh, group chat that we're all in, yeah, is one hilarious, but also leave us all really vulnerable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. there's some discussions in there which should never be public, right? <laughs> Free grab that shit. It's it out just there. like we've uh, all got each other. We've all got a little hold over yeah, each other yeah, somewhere. Yeah, literally. Yeah. If any of us, Roman, ever Roman's off. Roman has no shame. Roman does not give a fuck about anything. You can't have anything on Roman. I don't think. No, I, don't um, care. I literally think you could have no like. You can't blackmail Roman. The last podcast he did, he's like, he basically just told the world he has massive hemorrhoids all the time, and he just. Yeah, I was listening. Does, I was listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh and by the way roman's middle name is thor thor yeah how does he not market the fuck out of that yeah why like, why when he why when he was an animal was he um rex yeah i would just go by thor what the fuck is yeah. by thor Maybe yeah. it's just like a generic ass name in germany i don't know he doesn't yeah, think yeah it's probably really common like james is in england yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean all right let's do some questions Ian, what is it going to take for you to twin with James in facial facial hair and hairstyle, shaved head, long beard? <laughs> You're gonna have a yeah. Why don't you grow that shit out? It's I think we should done. all. I think we should all make a bet, or not a bet, but a deal to not shave our beards all winter. Sure. We do that. I'm up for that. I like I like growing my beard. But you can't trim it. You just got well. You can. I got. I got to be allowed to shave like my eyes. Yeah, you'll have it covering your yeah, eyes. You will literally have it covering yeah. your eyes. Like growing into his eyeballs. Your eye socket. Eyebrows will just connect with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so other than this part, we can like we have to grow it out all the way. You can't trim the sides. You can't like do it. You just got to grow it out. We should grow it for a year. Well, fucking years long. Come on, just the winter time. Yeah, I'll do it for a while. Sure, I don't care. I've had a pretty long beard before. When I've never seen that, it's always neat, neat and trim. And no, I mean I've had beards. And you went lower. Time. You went lower with it this time. Yeah, you went lower this time. You went like a chin yeah. strap almost. No, well, it's just like I. Yeah, you can see it. You, yeah, yeah. You're taking about an inch off. Isn't you? Do you do that yourself or just a barber? Uh, this I did myself, but I I usually go to a barber. I have a haircut today, so I'm going to get my haircut and, and get my beard fixed up. Look when at you... that for it. How jealous are you? Look I'm at that. Good. I'm not jealous. I look great with a bald head. I'm fucking good. I'm very jealous. No, no. Okay, but seriously, how jealous are you? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared to. Sh- I'm like scared to completely chrome dome my hair. Don't do it. Don't no, do it. It just it comes back different. Because like, at one point I had like, like four little, hairs on top. Yeah, I had a little bit of hair and I shaved it and it didn't come back. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but you're getting a hair transplant in like a month. Yeah, you'll uh, keep the hair. You postponed it, but yeah. When is it now? Not sure. You're not going to do it, are you? Uh, no. It- <sighs> Well, I, I can explain why. I mean, so when Chris went to, he did the Canadian store tours there. I don't know if you saw in Supplement World. Yeah. yeah. Where they had like fucking 19 hour lines. Yeah. So yeah. when he tried to come back into the US, they gave him quite a hard time. It was really difficult for him to get back because he'd been in the US for so long. And they're like, we've been here for fucking five months. Like you're clearly working down here. And he's like, yeah. no, blah, blah, blah. So they gave him a lot of shit with it. And it, oh, they shit. actually at first didn't let him in. And he had to, 
get raw to like fire him <laughs> so it oh showed that he God. wasn't working and then they had to do like the paperwork and then bring him in wow. so until until we all have our visas we didn't want to go there and then potentially not be able to get back in the u.s yeah that's yeah. a good idea yeah, yeah. so oh. you, you better not lose all your hair by then though or else then they're not gonna be able to do the surgery well i'll, I'll still have the sides they'll just take from the sides yeah, as long as you the side you i'll just have bald sides and hair on top and i'll just like rock it you know <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I oh, think well. J- James is the best. James just has like a Mr. Burns. He don't give a fuck. I literally do have Mr. Burns. I grew it last year as well. It was jokes. Oh, it was great. Last year. <laughs> I remember that. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. You grew it out, eh? For a bit. Yeah, I was like, fuck it, man. I don't give a shit. Where is bodybuilding in five years? Good question. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. <sighs> I think classic will be not as popular but closer to open class i have uh, to ask this too and I, I don't mean this out of a, a way of arrogance what sure. what do you think would happen to the classic division if chris bumstead retired tomorrow i think somebody else would fill his shoes not to his extent but i think somebody would fill in I think so though like from a popularity standpoint i mean like maybe not from a physique standpoint sure maybe someone would fill that but from a popularity i mean like chris is in a whole different yeah, yeah there wouldn't be anyone game. they talk about would there There'd be but no i mean the chris is time. literally the whole division you know i don't i don't think anybody can fill his shoes like fully that's not what i meant i just meant like if you look at the ufc right when somebody disappears somebody else kind of pops in so even though yeah, Connor- it's, also, it's also the case too in the ufc that like if you have a super popular champion in a weight class when they leave it, that class will kind of like be no, 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 and, and that's what I'm saying. So, so uh, the example I was going to use is like Conor McGregor, right? Yeah. yeah. Conor McGregor doesn't fight as much anymore, so yes, there's not that same casual fan draw, yeah. but the people that love bodybuilding or the people that love fighting are still like Justin Gaethje or fucking, you know, they're they're, sure. they're still excited to see the fights. So what I'm saying is, yes, you will lose casuals that love Chris. But I still think the division itself will carry on doing well. Just, yeah, I think it'll lose some excitement for sure. But also, it might be more exciting because right now, when you it's go more competitive, it, it's getting to the point now where, okay, well, Chris is there. Chris is going to win. Who's second? Yeah. So it might get more exciting. Um, and you'll lose just the, the personality side of it, right? Because mm-hmm. the competitive side of it will be more exciting because then. There's not this one dominant guy, right? It's almost like bodybuilding got more exciting when Ronnie left. Cause you're like, yeah. Oh, okay. Now who's up. It's like Jay. Is it Dexter? Is it Phil? Like, yeah. So th- it, there's also that to think about, but I think I know prize money is being increased for classic. So it's, to, the, Ar- the Arnold prize money coming up is really good too. Yeah. So I didn't want to put it out cause I'm not supposed to say anything, but um, I think the prize money is supposed to be increased. Um, and that fact alone tells me that the people that are running things are seeing that the popularity is there. Yeah. yeah. So, you know why they took out the vision? Why well, I took out the what? They took out um, physique, women's right? physique. Yeah, I don't know why. I Wait, don't know. period. It's gone completely from from the from Arnold. Arnold. It's out of the Arnold. Oh, from yeah. the Arnold. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the Arnold's. But the Arnold doesn't have a few divisions though. Like Arnold doesn't have uh, twelve. 212 it doesn't have women's physique it doesn't have a couple right but both of those are confusing like why wouldn't you have 212 and why wouldn't you have the only thing i can think is they would that they want to pay for less athletes to come Mm -hmm. because that are for those people who don't know uh arnold arnold pays for the athletes to fly in and they put them not necessarily wait that's not entirely true why it depends what class because some classes at the arnold are not invitational it's like men's physique or something oh i didn't know that yeah, I think some of them are just like, it's just you enter like a regular show. And that's why some classes like Ben's oh. might get 45 guys in, you know? Oh, Versus, I didn't know that. You know, bigger, yeah, you yeah. might have like 15 girls, you know? So when, the Arnold, the so when the Arnold is paying for hotel and flight, that's just for the open men or the invitationals? No, it's the for the invitational classes. Invitational so whatever classes, classes that you have to apply and be invited, yeah. those are. But the ones where it's just an open show, okay. uh, those ones are not paying your way. So I don't know exactly what classes, and I, I can't remember. But well, like Beanie or, or Men's Physique, these ones where they have 30, 40 competitors, I don't believe they're paying the way for all the athletes there. Well, then my theory, yeah. that, sh- that shoots my theory, a whole of my theory, because then they should just make women's physique and 212 pay for themselves and they don't have to worry yeah. about it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they don't have it. I, I don't really know because you figure you would, you know, I could see maybe why they don't want to support women's bodybuilding if they think it's too extreme or whatever. Like women's physique is supposed to be the toned down version. So okay. I don't know why they wouldn't have it. Mm. And it's two- almost like 212 came at the Arnold because of flex. 
Did Flex, like, do, did Flex do the 212? He's the first winner. The first winner. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. So it's almost like it was for him. Because I feel like Flex had a lot of pull in the industry. I feel like if he wanted there to be an Arnold show, it happened. Like... He was well, so a, popular. He's a big draw, and, right? Good, Flex is a huge draw. Huge draw. So I think that when he even sprinkles the idea of a 212 champion being at the Arnold, Arnold's team, whoever catches wind and is like, let's put the class in. Then Flex obviously isn't around no more and there's no one of that same popularity. Am, no, I, 212 then. am I too far in the bubble to see that? Like, is 212 not popular? Do, do people not It like... is, but not, not like Flex Lewis was... The, no, the, no, the I know name. that. I know that, but I just I feel like, like, yeah, it's not as popular without him. Okay. For sure. But I don't... Because like you say, like Sean won one year and like, like although Sean's popular, like it doesn't... It okay, but, okay, but, wait, to... but wait, wait, is 212 as popular as figure? Because like, if you're going to have figure, you're going to have 212. Probably, it's probably the fucking same to be fair these yeah. days. Yeah, but then that, that's what I'm saying. So I just can't figure out why they're picking and choosing these classes. Like, it doesn't make sense. Uh, I think, preference yeah. Of, yeah. Of, yeah. Or it Arnold could be or it could be timing. Like, maybe their production value is like... Arnold look, doesn't like short people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, you know, one of the things sometimes we don't think about is production because, like, uh, Dennis James brought that to my attention at a different show. Because I said, uh, I said, I think I said something about the... Uh, remember the challenge round? Yeah, yeah, they used to have 05. I, then, I, 05 I think I said to Dennis it would be cool if, like, they did, like, the fans got to pick people to compete, like, do a mm-hmm. round together. Well, Gustavo yeah. won that, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. But, but Dennis was like, yeah, that'd be cool, but the production would take an extra fucking hour. Yeah, and it's all money. So it's something that we don't think about. So maybe the Arnold is like, look, we only want to have four classes max or five classes max. Yeah. Ultimately, so, it's all about uh, profiting and late least energy output. You know, like that's what everything is. Business is about trying to do the minimum and get the maximum back. And they've obviously worked out that this is the best way to accumulate enough fans to watch the show. And yeah, what classes they they thought were bringing in the least amount of income and the least drawn sales. Absolutely. Also, they're gonna have to they have to pay out the two twelve guys a little bit more than say the figure girls, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if they bring in the same amount, but they've got to pay the two twelve guys more money, then it doesn't make sense. Yeah. All right, so going back to the question, where will bodybuilding be in five years? I think Classic will be closer to the open. Uh, I think, I don't know if I foresee a change in the open class. Like, I know we've been talking about, like, testing and not testing and all that. I don't think that he's going to get into that. So mm-hmm. I don't know if I see any change in the open class bodybuilding. I think it's still going to go in the same direction. Mm-hmm. I think it's, I think the the men's open is is concrete enough in its history that it's kind of just on a very slight upward trajectory that just maintains at all times, you know? But it has yeah. changed. Like, if you look at bodybuilding in, ni- in 2020 versus bodybuilding in 2010, there is definitely a change. Yeah, but it's uh, uh, only the people. <laughs> so, no, it's not just people. I don't if think there's been much of a change. Introduction no. of social media, like, there's a lot of things. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the actual competitive side of it. So in my time of bodybuilding versus now, the competitors are very different in, in be- between 2000 and 2015, even maybe 2012, there was a very, the guys were bigger, not bigger, but puffier with bigger stomachs and less attention was paid to flow of a physique or holding in your stomach or any of that kind of thing. After 2015, there's been more attention paid to less stomach, harder, drier looks, all these things. So, I think there's a difference between that competitively has changed. So I just wonder yeah. if there's going to be another shift in five or 10 years to something else. That's yeah, all. Think, uh, if there is, it's not going to be in five years. I think it might be longer, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. I think for now, I think we're kind of set. The, the trend is set. And I think the people that are now bleeding into the, you know, the Olympia and making appearances will be the next people for the next few years. I wonder if there'll be enough. Because there's, you know, you get a lot of these complaints. There's obviously two sides of the aisle, but you get a lot of complaints about aesthetics and not aesthetics. I wonder if in five or 10 years, that will be the change where people are like, look, size is great, but we want. Yeah, but then what's that sex a classic? Yeah, that's what classic hey, is. I've got, I got a question. What, they, they might very well destroy open bodybuilding, or not destroy it, but take it away if they slightly increase the weight limit at classic. I can see that happening. Which, 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 which I think they should be a little increased up on it. Mm. I think classic should be determined on look. But imagine if they added 10%, 20%. Yeah. 
onto the current. I weight think limits. the reason they don't do that is they want a clear distinction, right? You don't want to. You don't yeah. want somebody like a, a Samson or a Regan or but, like a Raphael. But, they would get, but I think they would get a better look. Imagine the look of Chris if he had. I, I know, but you want to be able to say this is the division. A clear no, no, line. I know, I know. But but in terms of if you were just going as a fan, I'm like, okay, when and Ian, you're Chris coach, so what's Chris's best look? Okay, is wait a minute. The weight limit he has to make. Well, he, to him now it's not bad because his weight at cap is 240, which he's actually always quite a bit under. So okay, but okay. let's say you put on, let's say you added 10 pounds to that. If fucking Chris goes on at 250 or 255. He wouldn't though, but yeah. No, I'm talking I'm, 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 I'm talking like 245, 244, you know. So that, that's that. a difference. That's enough of a yeah. difference to on on that when you're that lean, four pounds of weight. Chris Chris at this point is like doesn't take enough drugs to gain that much muscle. I'm not talking about Chris. <laughs> I'm not talking about Chris specifically. All I'm yeah. saying is if you take somebody like Raphael, okay. Raphael's not a huge bodybuilder. He probably That'll weighs what 40. Probably weighs 240, 245 max. Right? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Brando, I reckon he's probably 235. Okay, yeah. fine. So that's even even more my point is then you get somebody like that, it's too confusing because he's too close to the classic guys. So you need like a a line to go, no, these are open, they have too much muscle, and these are classic. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you got guys jumping back and forth between divisions, and it's just gets yeah, but, well, I think that's my point. Like I think you can almost sorry. It's never gonna be quite the same because you still have the height to weight ratio so in the men's open you're not getting guys that are five to 170 like it's yeah, just yeah, not yeah. a thing you yeah. know where yeah. you're going to get that in in classic because they fit in the parameters i wonder so if Raphael could make always going to have what you can make a bit classic i wonder if Raphael could make the weight what's his cutoff for is he no, like five seven be, he'd have to be like 220 i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he's too short yeah he's like 511 or 510 but so yeah i think he'd have to be like 215 220 yeah Raph's not short he's about my height yeah Oh, is he? Yeah. I thought he was like 5'7". Five, 5'11"? Five, five. He's about my height, 5'11". Yeah. Really? Like pictures of us together, yeah. Yeah, I think oh, he's sure. about 5'11". Yeah, he's taller than me. I didn't know that. I thought he was uh, not short, but I thought he was shorter. No. Um, really? He has a tall guy physique to me. I, I think he looks tall. I think as he was standing next to Samson, but Samson's like six foot, I think. Samson's a little bit taller than me. Yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, Samson's about my height. Okay. Well, I guess we don't really know what bodybuilding is going to look like in five years. Okay. Um, great physiques. Do you guys want to rate a physique? Sure. Ben, ben doesn't like rating physiques. <laughs> I, I don't mind rating it, but I remember we rated someone and then they inboxed me really upset. Yeah, that's happened. I was like, you, I'm like, you asked for it, man. Yeah, that's happened to me a couple And because I said something, I think I said something like, I said, I said something and... I can't remember what I said, but they were really upset. <laughs> well, see, I don't. I got. I, the reason I opted out of them is because they got confusing at one point. At first, it was like constructive. Then it became just a pure blast. I remember yeah, then it was like roast to my physique. You and guy, and it was just like fucking roast them for any. Like we were talking about the guys. What yeah, but that guy asked for it. He asked for a, a roast my physique. Yeah, that guy asked for a be roast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm okay if we're doing a rate my physique as in like. Giving critical feedback, yeah, like good constructive. Okay, uh, you guys all rate his physique and all roast them. <laughs> this is David <laughs> White. Uh, I yeah, don't know. Guy, if, I think this guy. I, I, I it, doesn't say, it doesn't say, say strengths. It, it doesn't say anything about like classic or bodybuilding. So I don't know what he's doing. So we're just gonna break. We, we should just we say strengths classic. and weaknesses. You know, strengths: arms are good, shoulders are pretty good, chest waist is small, quads are good, abs chest, are good. Chest needs to come up. It's just yeah. chest to me there that looks a bit shallow. But he looks pretty developed everywhere. Chest is small. Yeah. Does he have any back shots? One other most muscular. He likes the most muscular. Guys, if you're going to ask to be your physique to be rated, you we need to, to see more, the back, bro. You have to have more than just the most muscular. There's some old stage shots. Uh, what is this? This is old. His quads are pretty good. Yeah, they have to tend to. You can see they have to. Chest and arms look like the biggest weaknesses in this photo. Yeah. Mm. They're just all most musculars. You need there to turn go. around, bro. Right, 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 right. There you go. Back's pretty elbows, good. Put his elbows down. Yeah, right. drop those arms. Yeah. Legs look good. good. Yeah, look at the inner thigh. Calves, hams, pretty good. Back insertions are good. Needs to be thicker in the lat. I mean, it's he's he's good, better from the back than the front, in my opinion. Yes, yeah. I agree. Needs more triceps. Drop more, those arms more, down there. Yeah. 
because they're shredded most muscular. Yeah, it's more shoulders, chest, more than anything is what I see. Yeah, back is good here. You can see it on stage. Yeah, hamstrings. Look. Good hamstrings, good adductors. Yeah. 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 The coughs. Ain't bad. Silhouette's pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's chest. Just, the chest is just, yeah. Chest needs a lot of work. Don't do this. Don't do not do this. Yeah, do it all day, every day. <laughs> Me and Ian love this shit. Me and Ian do this. So if you're, why, wait, wait, why, why don't do that? If, if you're Ian or James, because I can see if you're shredded, even if you have underwear on. I don't need yeah, to see getting, your fucking... Getting tan, man. He's getting tan, bro. No, but he doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to post it. He doesn't have to post his fucking bare ass. He's capturing memories in the moment. Yeah, but he, he was getting tanned. His girl's like, oh, you look great. You look really take good. Let me take you. a picture, man. It's fucking weird, man. It's weird. But, but, on the flip side of this, he's in a tanning booth, but it looks like he has almost no tan on. So was this pre or post tan? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> he's had like one. <laughs> one oh, says post. He said post spray tan pictures. He needs another coat. He needs another, he coat. Needs another yeah. five coats. Can we, please have, can we please have this discussion? Is it really important to show your asshole? Like, yes. do I really yes. have you to see the woman? You're not showing the you asshole, the you're showing the full cheek. No, the you're showing nuts. the asshole. Like, I'm, I can see in your ass. No, you cannot I see need... the butthole, Fuad. I like <laughs> to see the whole anus. Look, yes, if, you're lean, if you're leaning off, you can see the butthole. I can see his asshole. No, no you it's can't. Dark. It's black, and you can't see in the black hole. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I don't, don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just don't think it's important at all. That you do. Well, I think it's completely like if, if okay, if he's wearing so you you're insecure, like, but... putting like emojis over if, your butt or something. If he's wearing no, yeah. I've never I've never posted. Like always wearing like at least a fucking like small Fuad, pair of you're just you, Fuad, you're just insecure looking at other men's asses. It's fine. No, yeah. I'm not worried about you're being worried homophobic. Like I don't care if like his ass don't worry about it. just just accept it, man. That's you're just horrible. worried. You're just worried there might be a little twins down there when you're looking at some guy. My dick, so my dick is my dick is hard right now. All right, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's, that's not the point. The point, I just we're, look at bodybuilders are fucking weird enough. I don't like. I just don't want to be more weird. We might as well just go full weird. Fuck hey, it. you just yeah. gotta accept it. Accept weird. the weirdness. Do we understand why bodybuilding? Weird. Understand the origin of bodybuilding, man. Yeah, we're like, two hundred fifty pound men that get on stage in like fucking thongs, man. Like we've already crossed all the lines here. Look, I can see how shredded he is here without, <laughs> and he still has underwear on. Like I don't He's have. To, how is this weirder? He's in underwear in the middle of a public gym yeah. versus naked in a room private getting spray tan. Yeah. Okay, maybe if he was in a locker room, it'd be different. But I'm saying right. the fact that he's wearing underwear does not lessen you wouldn't, my... You wouldn't, hesi- you wouldn't hesitate to strip down to your underwear in a, in a full public gym. You wouldn't. But you wouldn't take a picture alone, private, in a the tan. It's not private when you post it online. It's no longer private. Now the whole world could see it. Both. Yeah, I know, but it's like the concept of what you're doing isn't that weird. The concept know? of what you're doing is private, but you just put it online, so it's no longer private. Did Did you boys <laughs> see Dana Baker's video where they got like the? Music I was I was there. I was there That's at that hilarious. show. You've I was it, there. They, they kicked them off stage. Him and Tony Cyril. I was there because yeah, yeah. they're what? showing their asses. Yeah. What happened? Go oh, to Dana Baker. Watch it. Go to Dana Baker. It's funny. This was like 2015. Oh, Can I you... think I remember that. I think you might have been there. I they think I was there too. Penalized them. Those fucking jokes. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it was Debbie. <laughs> yeah. Is that what her name was? Debbie? Yeah, Debbie Carpenko. No, Debbie, he's, actually hum- yeah. he's actually humping midair. Was it Carpenko? Stage. Something like that. Wait, I want to see. I need to see this. I'm going to see it. It's funny. Yeah. yeah, this one. That third video. Look, 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 look. Turn the funny. volume on. Turn the volume on. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. I got to stop. I got to stop the share that. One sec. This is fucking funny. I thought this is quite hilarious. Can you guys see it? Yeah, but we can't hear it. One second. Make it big. Oh Look, they're pulling the trucks up. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to squeeze his ass on stage. Just wait, wait. He says to stop. Stop the post. Stop the post, then. Stop the post. What? Wait, though, you got. This is hilarious, though. Wait, watch. He's not only showing his ass. He's like he's, he's, humping, here. he's fucking humping the ass. <laughs> oh, it's, man, it's hilarious. hilarious. I was there. This was that's funny. So, that's fucking great. He's literally fucking mid ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Look at this. <laughs> it's just the music, though. If they don't want that to happen, don't use this music. What's this guy's name again? Far right. What? Uh, Bo- is that Bolo? No, I don't no. know that guy. Yeah, he won that. He won it this year. Stop. Guys, that's fucking Wait, hilarious. Can I just say something though? If you don't want people to do dance moves like that, don't use that music. Yeah. The post <laughs> That was like the most like homo 
I magic know, I got bike fucking yeah. It was yeah, it was it was asking you to flex your glutes and hump. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. I don't remember that. I remember them getting in trouble. I don't remember him like fucking yeah. gyrating on stage. I remember because I worked with Tony at the time, right? I mean, Tony at, had a gym together. That's right. Oh, so I remember God. this. Yeah. That was hilarious. hilarious. It's like, look at my ass, guys. Look at my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just like stopped the pose down, stopped the pose down. 314, 315. Leave please. The stage. Please. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine how you'd feel. I'd be like, yeah. That's a little bit, that's a little bit uh, too yeah, conservative. That's, that's too conservative. I think they, both got, they go, both got penalized for it in the scoring, too, to, to my that's, recall. That's too much. You could have just... How do you, penalized, how do you get penalized in the pose down, though? That's well, the score. Just, their night, their night, like, their final scoring was just, like, significantly worse than the pre judge. They, they just, they just they wrote look. minus nine. See, that's, yeah. a, that's, a judge, that's a judge that's pulling a power trip. Because you could have easily yeah. just said, stop Guys, the pose, stop the pose down, do that. and let's move on. Yeah, yeah, let's move on. Like, well, that's what it's, people said in the video, the comments. They're like, they could have yeah. just, like, give them a little warning. Yeah, they'd have to like kick them off the stage and penalize the stage. them and like I mean, yeah. wasn't Ian, don't, your ass is offending me. Go I thought it was Ian, fucking, don't, I, don't you show a bit more glue in your back poses? <laughs> I, 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 know, <laughs> I know you don't hold the air, but oh, ben, what? I remember I the, <laughs> what what show were we watching that he was competing in? And we started making fun of him because every time he turned around, it was around, the Arnold. It was the Arnold. Pull his, pull his trunks out. Arnold. Oh, Arnold. I did it every single <laughs> Every because I could see in the screens because they yeah. had a few screens. Yeah, you Every time I hit a back pose, I'd like look in the screen, I'd yank it up until it looked really good in the screen, and then I hit a shot. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> no, I actually called it. He turned, yeah, he turns it around. I went, he's not in his pose yet, and he's with the trunks up. And you literally on cue went, whoop, completely. Me and Ben were, and ben were howling. We're like, how come every time Ian turns around, he's got to pull his trunks up his ass? <laughs> no, I love those screens. They let you know so when you're I mean, off. Throw the right, glutes right. off, man. Yeah. You effectively did the same thing. You just didn't hump the air. Yeah. yeah. I think it was the I think it was the humping that, offend, the that hump. offended her. Yeah. It's, it's the, the gyrating that it's got the her. The rapey yeah. hump. You yeah. Know, Maybe it turned that, her on a little bit. She's, she's got getting a little too excited. She's yeah, got. She was down. yeah. She was getting a bit moist and had to call it a day. She's going into <laughs> she was getting moist. <laughs> <laughs> moist is the gro grossest word. I, know, you... I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the three words that are hated in this household are moist, penetrate, and erect. <laughs> uh, if Janica hears any three of them, she like goes oh. <laughs> Penetrate and erect. Yeah. yeah, she hates those words. So just moist, like, never... yeah, sure. Yeah. Moist is, yeah. I like moist. Moist makes me feel like, I don't know. It's, it's, like right. a, it's synonymous with like so, a so, soggy uh -huh. is worse than moist, but neither should be used. I feel uh -huh. like moist and soggy refer to like a smelly box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> moist doesn't. Yeah, when I think moist, I think of a smelly soggy box. Does. Soggy does. Soggy does. Yeah, don't ever refer. Don't ever refer to your wife's vagina as soggy. Yeah. It's like that's the to your wife, like does that make oh, you so soggy? soggy. <laughs> okay. Imagine, imagine if you were doing it, and you were trying to be provocative, and you're like, "Oh, you're really soggy down there." Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just dry up like the desert immediately, wouldn't you? She goes, I'm, I'm gonna do this next time. Melissa and I have sex. I'm gonna do this, and I'll tell you what she oh, says. So do it. Soggy. Say, "Oh, it's so moist down here." <laughs> no, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say you're so soggy. And see what she said. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh, I love it when you get this soggy and she's gonna freak out. When I'm hearing soggy, I'm 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 imagining that the, the fanny is farting as well. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's gotta be in it. It's gotta be like there's just messy everywhere. Compressed <laughs> air and sog. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, gross. See, we're all civilized, and then Ian comes in. That's um, James. James. Son, no, but he started Ian's the bad, boys. Oh, yeah, but Ian's but a bad Ian just um, being influence. In the group just, Ian's a bad influence. Being in the group yeah. has just made it this toilet talk. Potty mouth. <laughs> Potty mouth, yeah. That's fucking yeah. hilarious. But Moist... I'm, really hot. I'm fucking hot now. Comment in the comment section. I think Moist... Soggy is worse, but Moist still makes me think of a smelly box. I don't think of Moist as like a, a clean, nice... Ready to go. Unless, box. It's a Unless it's a towel. Do you want a moist towel? That's not, yeah. I want. I want to. Yeah, wanna... yeah. That's true. When you have a moist, moist towel, towel. Yeah. yeah. It still sounds wrong to be fair. <laughs> no, a moist, moist towel makes me think of like cleaning my hands. Like before, yeah, you... But when you refer to a vagina as moist, it sounds like, <laughs> yeah, gross. But when I think of moist, like I think of like a girl like vapor on it. When I think of moist vagina, I think of like a girl at a bar wearing those leather pants. I think of it. She's, oh, been, dan yeah. she's been dancing Spin all night. Box. Yeah. No, she I needs like moist ladies, you know. Oh, she needs them. <laughs> oh, old ladies. Like an old lady that doesn't quite get wet anymore. She just gets oh. more. Yeah. <laughs> God. 
She doesn't get full blown wet. Just she can't, get, she can't get rubber wet. She's just halfway there. And that's why. They, that's why they just kicked him off the stage because she's angry. She couldn't get full blown wet. Yeah. yeah, she's just moist. She's just moist. Because <laughs> moist reminds me of raindrops. Yeah, so it's like almost like this old lady's just got a few drips. You know, it's not. It's not fully. Um, it's not fully. Uh, oh, what's the word? Entrenched, lubricated. Yeah, yeah it's not fully really lubricated. It's just got a few specks of like, you know, rain <laughs> in places. <laughs> all right, oh. all right, all right. That's... Anyway, <laughs> guys, put it together. Yeah, put it together. Uh, Moving on. Is grunting in the gym a privilege? Grunt rhymes. Grunt, grunt rhymes is a really good word. Cunt. Indeed. There you go. As soon it, as I heard the word grunt, I was thinking about that of word. Cunt. Yes, and then I was thinking about a moist. A moist. <laughs> why, did, why, did, why did you censor cunt after saying moist? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah uh, a moist cunt. I know. Because Yannicka's Yana, there, that's why. No, no, she doesn't mind the word. She uses it a lot. It's more that because I'm in Florida and I find that everyone in America is a bit more offended by yeah, the word. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, but you have a Whereas, British accent, so you can get away with it. I do, I do. And they do yeah. laugh. They do yeah. laugh when I say it. Moist cunt doesn't sound as bad as moist vagina. It's weird, isn't it? Vagina never sounds good, though. No, but okay, moist fine. Cunt. Moist pussy sounds dirtier. Oh, than yeah, moist oh, moist yeah. cunt sounds actually Ooh. almost okay. Moist cunt sounds like you're having a, 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 a row with a man. And you're saying, he's, <laughs> yeah, you're, like, you're having a row. Yeah, and you're saying you're, you're a wet cunt. Like, so basically, you know, someone's emo- so if someone's overly emotional. Like, let's say you're, watch- look, you're watching Forrest Gump and you're with your mate. And he's crying at the scene where you're a, uh, fucking, you know, moist cunt. You're a fucking moist cunt. You are. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good, isn't it? We'll use that. That works. Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. That works. We all need to do that. Like that's that. a good good usage for sure. All right, can we go that, back? Can we go back? I wish that guy on a t-shirt. That's a good. Yeah, one. do it. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> Open cunt on a t-shirt. You could put K with a star and then N T. Well, cunt is actually. I know, but you can put do it with a K. Do you know what a better t-shirt is? You can't put cunt on a t-shirt if you actually write that. Yeah. That would you can't put cunt on a t-shirt. <laughs> All right. Is grunting a privilege? Because I'm going to say yes. If a, grunt, if a grunt is truly required, then it's just a natural occurrence. A forced grunt is annoying. Yes. I just I think, think you know, if it, I see a little kid like that has absolutely a shit physique, but he's fucking training balls the fucking walls like as hard as he can, and he's making some noise, fucking more power to you. But if you're I'm just like going doing like 20 pound curls to 30% intensity and you're making a bunch uh, of noise, yeah, then you're just a fucking. Uh, what if yeah. it's like a kid, he's like 16, he's starting to work out, he's doing one plate on the bench and it's hard for him and he's grunting? Yeah, it's hard for him. If it's genuinely hard. That's okay. That's, that's okay with you guys? Oh, I kind of think that's so, yeah. that right to fucking absolute failure, then give her. Yeah. I think it's okay with me. I don't care. I'm not going to go say anything to him, but it looks stupid. Uh, I will agree with you that it looks stupid, but I, I think it's okay because he's... Because the, reason I'm, the reason I'm saying that is because I think... I don't think it's a real grunt. Why? It's it's his difficulty is not as serious as your difficulty? Well, Give no. it another three years and you're going to be grunting on one plate, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, no, I won't. I won't. There's a, I think there's a difference. I think there's a... I don't know why... But there's a difference when someone's. Yeah, it's called your fucking ego. No, I'm not <laughs> mad. I'm not mad at the kid for grunting. I just don't think it's necessary. So why is it necessary well, if it's, for us? But if it's his absolute grunt, like if he takes that one plate and does like four reps, and the fourth rep is fucking like it's his life, or it's coming down on his That's chest. It's the same as me deadlifting eight plates. It's like no. if it's four reps, it's like why? No, it's not the same. It is the same. It's the same. It's the same intensity. It's the I don't same see intensity. It. I don't see it. You're such an old bastard. But what do you mean you don't? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have to. So you have to, silent, you have to. You have to take sets to failure silently until you're past three or four. I don't points, think right? the sixteen-year-old. Yeah, where's kid, the limit? Where's the I don't, limit? I don't <laughs> think the plates? sixteen. No, I don't think the sixteen-year-old kid doing one plate. He doesn't know failure. Knows, knows what failure is. I don't think. Yeah, he hasn't been does, that's enough. what I'm saying. He I'm doesn't. saying if, kid that's, if it is a kid who truly knows how to train to failure and he's making grunts, I'm okay with it. That's what I said. All right, if it's fucking Please real failure, right but I've I've never ever seen that. That's all I'm saying. Oh, neither have I. But I mean, okay. Maybe. Well, now we're just talking about hypothetical. Yeah, I, has, I've has never seen the pyramids. Ever seen... I've never seen the pyramids, but they fucking exist, man. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Has have any of us ever seen a fucking sixteen year old kid 
benching like hey, a plate or something ever grunting bench- and we're like you're like you yeah that's two hours a day in the gym for decades man you think we remember every 16 year old kid we saw fucking grunting in the gym come on I can, tell you, you do, I can tell you, I can tell you, if you do remember every 16 year old kid you see in the gym, I can tell you for a fact, <laughs> I've never seen a fucking, like a kid like that weighing 110 pounds or whatever, just starting out grunting. And I thought, yeah, that's a real grunt. I've never I mean, had okay, lots, of, lots of young kids grunting though. I don't see that period. Oh yeah. I've seen that at the gym. They just, because okay. I feel like they think they need to grunt because they see bigger guys. I think, grunt. Old, I think old men do it more than anyone, like old men that are lifting lightweights. You know, I'll see like 70 year old men, like in the gym with like, you know, 20 pound dumbbells doing incline, like, ah, 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 you know, I've never seen that. I see. I see that more. The most thing, the most thing I've seen is people who think they look like they need to grunt, but you know, they're not really grunting. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Why are we, why are we all being fake? Okay. You guys so, are fucking, no, this, no, is, this is the shit that happens on this podcast. If we were in the, James especially, if we were at like destination together training and there was some little kid weighs 100 pounds over there grunting with a plate, James would be like, look at that fucking cunt. Look at that moist, <laughs> look at that moist cunt. That's what he would say. Now, but we're on the podcast, you're like, no, no, it's okay. No, no, listen, Everybody listen, should listen, be able listen. to grunt. I, I identify intensity or not. And if there's no intensity and if it is bullshit, I then I will, I will probably go over there and slap him. Well, I but, wouldn't slap him. But all I'm saying is I've never seen that. If you could show it to me, I'd be like, cool, that guy can grunt even with okay. one plate. I've just we never seen agree. it. Yeah, we so all agree. I've, I've seen some annoying grunts in the gym where someone oh, clearly yeah. is nowhere near maximum effort, does 20 reps on a leg press, half reps, yeah. grunts every rep. That's, yeah, if you're that's doing... all the factors are there. Half rep, 20 reps, and grunt. Those three yeah. together, telling me everything. If you're because doing you're sub-maximal you're grunts, grunts, you're a fucking yeah. loser. Sure. Sub-maximal yeah. grunts are for fucking cunts. I, yeah. make, I make noise with them. That rhymes well. What? I make noise when I'm training, though. Is that is that allowed? All the time. Yeah, like that's because you're, doing... you're in pain. That's because you're in pain. Oh no! But Ooh, if I'm doing like just uh... great cartilage, like just bone on bone and all this, you know. <laughs> no, I mean even when I was healthy. If I'm doing like a leg press set of like you know 12, 14 plates, 20 reps, I have a I have a cadence that I so I make a noise almost, but it's not a grunt. But that's fine because you're at least doing full range reps and you're efforts there but what i'm saying is it's not a grunt like i got a grunt to get this set up i just have like a no no sometimes no, no. i just make noise yeah sometimes like, maybe, that's how you maybe, breathe maybe, maybe you're the cunt then maybe i'm the cunt yeah mm. i do find actually i noticed this i watched a, I, I very rarely watch my videos back but i watched a few and from the leg session i did in my hack squat and my squat from the first rep i was making not a full-blown like raw no, but you make a noise but i was like I do. yeah but yeah. i'm like i had a yeah. good amount of fucking weight on my back to warrant no no no. i know but i'm just saying sometimes like you have to distinguish too between a grunt and like sometimes people just make noise when they're trying huh? <laughs> that's what i'm thinking again. every time i hear a grunt, <laughs> a grunt i just want to say gun every time uh, it's like i'm a trying to find a video of me training training now to see when i start making noise you know well, let, let me tell you something it depends, the it depends on the sound, it, it the reason we make a sound is like you know when you watch a boxer a boxer and they go tss, tss. yeah and they make that noise when they yeah ours is the same but it's just slightly different that's or right like, that's I, I, I do think it's depend it's dependent on the lift because if I go and do like a heavy press or something like that I'm not grunting on yeah. until the end yeah but if I'm on like, like heavy, um, heavy hacks and heavy squats or a deadlift I'm probably yeah. making a noise on every rep I yeah. make I make noise on legs more too I think it's a breathing thing yeah. for me yeah. Yeah, it it's definitely a breathing thing. Yeah, I, I don't. My, yeah, my, I, I make kind of like a, but I don't make any sound. Like this is me deadlifting seven plates. I don't make any sound to like the last two reps. Yeah. And then I start making noise. I like the sounds that Dorian used to make during blood of on the leg press, the Cybex leg press. So, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> fucking good. Yeah, I think. Uh, listen, I'm. A, I agree with you guys. If somebody's actually, I've just never seen it. I, that's all. My point is. I've seen so many guys at the gym just screaming for no reason. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know? I'll just go to Blood and Guts for a minute, just cool, for yeah. a second, because I love it. Um, if you had to be a half repper for the rest of your life for oh, either your time. lower body or upper body, which one would you choose? Lower. Lower. Yeah, lower. Um, can I just play this? Can I just play this yeah. sound really quickly? Yeah. I think this is. This is what I love. Wait, let me fast forward. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 leave it, leave it, leave it. 
Yeah. Okay, so I want to ask you something. So he's nowhere near failure, right? No. So I want to ask will you, be here. if you let me, saw, let me just, no, no, yeah. just hear me out for a second. I'm going to prove my point. Yeah. So if you saw a kid on the leg press with one plate on each side making that noise, but he's in, he's intense, you guys wouldn't think anything. You guys be like, oh, that's okay. He's trying I hard. Think, I think you're proving the point here, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. If let you saw a kid this. on the leg press doing the amount that, of weight, like because weight is still weight, and like 800 pounds if you're under it is still yeah. like on your core and like the uh, you know that's right. Yeah. One we plate, just get, we no just one is last, that kind of physiological. We, response. we go get him last two reps. So far, the, isn't it like that Valsalva maneuver, right? That you like clench and breathe, like you hold yeah. your breath and then exhale to yeah. generate more strength. Or force. Yeah, I have to do this. Sorry, I'm just interrupting. Yeah. I love that where he screams. <laughs> Come on. That makes me want to go train legs. One more, one more, I, one more. I know, I know. Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, you racked it. Fuck. That's the Cybex yeah. leg press, right? Yeah, it's Cybex. Yeah. I'm thinking about trading my leg press for that one. I love that leg press. It's good. It's yeah, got the, um, little, that, the rope underneath, like the little cord that changes the seat height. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like on a cord. Yeah, I got the nebula. That's quite a wide back. That's a nice well, wide Very back. wide. Yeah, it's literally like that. And it, yeah. It's such a weird, it's such a weird leg press though, because the platform is small, yeah. and it doesn't fit like a ton of weight. No, but you get about it, eleven, feels, twelve plates on it. It's heavy, but, but it feels heavy. Yeah, yeah, it feels heavy. Yeah, it feels heavy. Did you like the Cybex one I've got? The squat, the lever, iso the pivot one. press, the one that we, I, one I just, we used, yeah. I just bought it. Yeah, I just the bought it. Oh, that. you did? Okay, I got it actually uh, three days ago. I paid. The hip press. It's yeah, called it's a called the, not, not the hip press. You know the other one that I've got. It's um, called the leg press that you guys started with. Yeah, side yeah. squat press. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna just gonna show it to everybody. It's called. Oh, I know it, yeah. It's called a pivot press. Yeah, we have that here too at Revive. I like that a lot. It's um because I like because like see we got that one. We got that one. Red one. We got blue, black, and blue one. This is the Atlantis. We got the Atlantis. This is the Atlantis one. I don't like the color foot plate though. Cybex. Where the fuck? It's a squat press. That's it. There, top left. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, this is the exact one I just bought. Silver like that. Yeah. yeah. See, I like the, the the other leg press because of the wide. They say the wide back on the 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 regular press, the forty five. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about the original Cybex leg press. Yeah, the Cybex. It's a forty five degree, and it? it's just a. Yeah. Uh, this one. Yeah. This thing's it. fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. great. But it, it doesn't great. look it doesn't look like it would be enough. Like this doesn't oh, fit. There's a pin way. in the middle though. There's a pin in the middle as well. A yeah, vertical pin. Dorian's has one in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a vertical okay. pin as well. Because I'm like I have the uh, like this to me looks like you would think like this is. I love the Nebula one. It looks it looks fucking mean. I don't this like is, the Nebula as much. So this is the one I got. You'd think this is like the heavy duty like badass, but I think I like the Cybex better. I do as well. Yeah. I love the Nebula at Redcon. I like the way this one looks, but I like the side, the feel of the leg press. I prefer flat. The nebula the foot plate. The nebula one looks fucking badass. Though. It looks awesome. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Looks I far good. prefer a foot plate that's dead flat. Me too. See. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is flat though on the bottom here, like where you put. Yeah, but it's, it's 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 not right though, man. Trust me, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not. Like I'm saying, I'm agreeing with you. I use I like... it. It's not right. I use the flex. We got so we got that one in the gym, and we've got the flex one, flex systems. I use the flex systems ones because more like the Cybex. Yeah. What was that? Was that a Body Masters hack you were using the other day, James? Yeah, so good. Love it. I look nice. Really, really good. Okay. Uh, how many slices of pizza do you think you could eat in one sitting? 25. What'd you say? 25. What's in a large? Just 16? 16 slices in a large? Oh, I could do probably 32 then. I used to do two large pizzas if I was to eat a pizza. You guys can do two large pizzas and you call Easy, is yeah. it calling me a fucking pig? If it's, if it's bread, it's no, we can, we don't do it often. That's the difference. You do it regularly. We can do it, we just don't do it because we're not. Anything I don't bread. do two regularly, I do one regularly. I don't think I could eat a medium pizza by myself. Really? Oh. Why? I just don't think yeah. I could. I'd have to be Probably really. Are you. See, you know, even in a prep. What about, what about if you were in a prep and then Pat went, go have a pizza? <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that big of an appetite guy. I don't think I could. Fuck yeah, me, I'm a pig, Ian. 
I also don't love yeah. pizza, so it's like you know. Uh, I'm not. I I'm not big on pizza. So Fred and I, he he gets offended when I tell him this. I'm really <laughs> deeply offended when I, like I tell him I don't dish. love pizza. I'm like if I'm hungry and prep, I could eat like two Five Guys like double burgers, and I'm stuffed. Like two of the burgers from Five yeah. Guys is wow. stuffed. That fills me yeah. up too. I mean, I could eat probably another one if I had to or two. More <laughs> <laughs> if you lot. made me, if you forced me well, to, it was a, it was a contest. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely couldn't. Um. James is a fucking pig. Eh? We gotta have I a am eat. a fucking pig. I've been eating 900 have pounds of carbs. I've been getting up twice in the night to eat twice, full size. Like, I'm fucking pig the at the minute. Fuck. It's all clean food, but I'm fucking starving. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm probably dying of AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, something's no, not right. That, that's just worms just or something. The biggest that, AIDS patient on earth. Worms. Honestly. Just he's, he's just trying to justify. You cut out, man. I said he's trying to justify. His growth hormone usage by saying he has AIDS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prescriptions. Uh, what's your va- favorite vacation spots? What's your favorite vacation spot or vacation you've ever taken? Mm. Colorado. I love really? Colorado. That's your I favorite place. Colorado. Wow. It's nice. Yeah. Um, fuck. I don't know. I think I want to go to the Maldives. Yeah, yeah that's, that's standard. Though. That's where I'm like, that's the standard. one place I want to go, or or Hawaii. I'm really, I really want to go to Hawaii. But do you, do, do you not find it changes based on where you're at at that time? Like, because I'm in Texas, so I want to run away from the fucking sun. No, yeah, I always, know? I always really want to go to the Maldives. I want to have my own chalet out in the middle of the fucking ocean with my wife and and do that shit for like a week. Yeah, I've just, I've, uh, it's just something on my bucket list. Or yeah. or go to Hawaii and like. Just you know, I have a really good like one one week long in Hawaii on the beach. Yeah. I, I just, yeah, I don't think that ever really changes. The only other vacation I want to do is like maybe a tour of like Europe with the wife. Yeah, France, Rome. Go France, to fucking France, Rome is Italy, phenomenal. Greece. Yeah, yeah, Rome, yeah. Nice to Rome. Italy is one of the ma- the first one I want to go to. Yeah, Italy is beautiful. I spent yeah. a month in Italy. Yeah, did you? Hey, what, what? for what? I went to um. How was that? Great. When were how old were you? Sixteen. Oh, so it was like before Melissa, obviously. Yeah. You just go 16. with your family. Yeah, yeah. There was like f- six of us. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a fucking month in Italy. Sounds. Like- did you did you go see the Colosseum? Did that's- everything. So we stayed. We had a a big house, like a a big villa in. I can't remember what the, the town was called, uh, but like in the fucking what's that area called? Tuscany, like yeah, Tuscany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we had like a big house there. We stayed there for three weeks and then we stayed in Rome for one week at the end. Nice. That sounds That's awesome. The Colosseum is like crazy ben, humbling. Ben, you've been there, right? Like one, if you just put in perspective what it was and what happened there, you just start going, fuck. Crazy. That's like, yeah. I mean, like, all of Rome, it's like Rome is crazy because like every corner, there's something fucking crazy and famous. Like you walk down like through Rome, it's like, oh, there's this crazy thing here, this there, that there. Like everything there is crazy, you know, yeah, yeah. historic, like everything. Plus they have really the good fucking, The Vatican is pretty fucking humbling too. Like you go, you go in the Vatican, it's like you look at it, you're like, how much did this shit fucking cost? Like the whole roof is like solid gold. And like, you're like, this is fucking yeah, yeah. crazy, you know? How much pizza did you eat when you were there? Me? Yeah. Probably not as many as you would have. <laughs> yeah. But think about pasta. Pizza, pizza and pasta. pasta. Yeah. I'm more pasta, pasta, right? yeah. The pasta's different there, man. I promise the you. Pizza and pasta is both very different. Yeah. Yeah. Is it pasta? I don't think you like the piece there. Is it pasta or you... pasta? Pasta. Pasta. Pasta, mate. Pasta. 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 I'm a fucking pasta eater. <laughs> <laughs> you say pasta. The race car driver got mad at me for saying Ferrari. What, what did he say? say? Ferrari. Ferrari. Oh, it's, pretty, it's pretty similar. You just got to put on the Super Mario accent. And it's like, yeah, right. Ferrari. It's like the Super Mario saying Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari. Hey, it's a me. I'm out. Uh, is Ian accepting co- clients for coaching? No. No. Fuck that shit off. Is Ben accepting clients for coaching? Mm, no. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> if they're paying Depends. up. If they Depends pay enough. It is. <laughs> if they pay. Competitors only. I don't, I'm not. That's Only if you're really life. good and are going to pay a thousand dollars a month. Only if you're going to make him look. That's what I was going to say. Ian is my new manager. If that's going to be the rate, Ian can deal with it. Yeah. Is that's not my rate, by the way. 
Is it is a deadlift necessary for back? I hear Hunter say he doesn't like them for overall back development. No, but they're fucking fun as hell. So who cares? Do them anyways. They're yeah, good I, for creating strength for other movements as well. So I, your back, your back strength from deadlifts allows you to squat like a beast. I think I got a lot of gluten hamstring development from doing even conventional yeah. deadlifts more than I did back. But I think either way, it was like it was a very good movement that made me stronger at a lot of other things. I got Bobo stronger Rose? at squatting. I got stronger at rowing. I got stronger at everything because everything in my core was stronger. My glutes and like to support myself and bent over movements was stronger. And everything was stronger. Like you just said, I mean, yeah, it's actually first, a great core exercise. I think the first 10 years of your lifting career, you should be deadlifting. Regularly. 100%. It's funny. I did the opposite. You started deadlifting later? I started deadlifting after 31. So, I, de- so I developed my entire back without deadlifting. I actually think, personally, I no, think... No, I, I, I don't think you need it to develop No, no, I, I agree with what you guys are saying. I'm just saying what, what happened. And I didn't do it on purpose. I just never... I never got a, like I never like well you know why you know why you're so damaged because you didn't deadlift young and build that foundation of strength and then you got hurt when you were old that's all it was that's that all the deadlifts. or it could just be pure genetics and that's just like nope no it no, was the deadlift. Just a deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> the deadlift is the answer yeah. by deadlift. the way by the way I I went I was training with Hunter like four weeks after the Olympia and we deadlifted so he's still yeah. fucking deadlifts yeah so shut up yeah the person is confused I've seen Hunter but, do reverse band as well he rack pulls a lot too right he rack pulls all the time yeah, yeah but we we, we we pulled from the floor after a back and hamstring session yeah but this but this kind of thing happens all the time because I know people have said this to me like you could say something in a podcast like oh I like doing this and then like three months later you might decide oh I want to try that thing and then someone will go but you said you didn't like it. Yeah. And it's like, well, I changed my fucking mind. Yeah. Like, tra- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like tra- training changes all the time. So, yeah. Um, okay. In the moments where you are at your lowest, how do you bring yourself back up? Is there a switch you just flip and you're back? No, I go to the gym. Yeah. Literally, the answer to bringing yourself back from depression, in my opinion, is keeping your normal, as much normalcy as possible. The answer is do as much drugs as you can until you're completely numb to everything. Just take, <laughs> take as many SSRIs as you can. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't listen to that. That was really bad advice. Don't. I was kidding. No one's. No one's you no, seriously. If, this, listen, <laughs> this, be serious for one minute. If you're feeling fucked up, whether you okay, broke well, up, it depends what kind of fucked up. Because sometimes no, I'm going to give you a scenario. Like, I'm going to give you a scenario. This is there's two types of fucked up. There's situational fucked up where you're like broke up with my girlfriend, lost my job. I can't train then. Whatever. Yeah. Or there's clinically fucked up where you're like, I just woke up and I don't feel like I want to get out of bed. Yeah. Okay. Ian in either or James or Ben in either scenario, what is your answer? In the fuck girlfriend broke up. I, I literally can't work out in that kind of stuff. The situational. For, yeah. Yeah. For if I'm like normal life feeling, you know, a little down or, you know, feeling anxious training will always make it better. Yes. Yeah. Ben? Actually, the relationship stuff, I always used to be like, fuck this, Luke, let's go to the gym. The training thing, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. fuck it. And I would go, and I would have, I'd have to squat. Like, yeah. it would be yeah. my, I'd send to my, I'd be like, fuck this. And I'd bury like six or seven plates. I'd be like, yeah, fuck that bitch. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm too anxious that I need resolve before I can focus on training. You're one like, of those so two, if I'm yeah. having a fight with Melissa, I, can, I literally couldn't focus on the gym, not even 1% until it's resolved. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that's the case now with Denise, but that's because I still want to be with her. Yeah. When I was, <laughs> when it's an argument with a with a girl that I'm like, you just, I'm just fucking you, then I'm like, Fuck I agree. But I wait, agree. but wait, I want to ask you guys this, and uh, you guys have both been with your girlfriends lo- or wives long enough. But so for me, it was like that with Summer. To a certain point, I think after ten years, it's like now when we fight, it actually helps me to go to the gym. I can I can tune out the argument and go to the gym and then come back, and it actually it fixes the argument better because I'm more calm and sober and like I'm not angry anymore. Like, I, I agree that going and doing it would probably be helpful, yeah. you know, and that like that, it would calm my mind down. We could probably come to more resolve when I'm, you know, chilled out a bit and yeah. spent some time, you know, to think about it. Up, yeah. Yeah. Think of, think of things, but I just, I get there and I just like, I'll do one set and my head's so not there. I'm like, fuck this. I need to leave. Yeah. I know, but I'm wondering if it's a, if it's a time thing because I was like that. I'd be like, I couldn't train. I wouldn't even leave to go to the gym. Actually, I've been with Melissa for 10 years. Like, no, I know, I, but that was like me, and it means maybe age as I get a little older. Me and yeah, maybe it's age too, because there was a certain point with summer where, you know, like couples bicker and fight and stuff. There was a certain point where I couldn't let the fucking argument go until there was something fixed. 
Yeah. And then, and then there was a point where she, we would argue and she would just go up to bed and I would leave her and I would either sleep on the couch or go up to bed and just, she'd be asleep already. And I just pass out. And in the morning, the argument would be resolved. Like we would be able to talk it out. No yeah, problem. Yeah, a bit of time. Just some of those times. And so enough, now, and I, I think that happened around the 10 year mark where we just like started, okay, we're fighting. Fuck it. I'm going to go to the gym. And then we would fix the pr- problem but, when I got back. Yeah. I do have a question. And I think it's because the way I train and maybe it's the same. I have a lot of time in between my sets. And when I'm, if I'm argued, then I'm, it's like, it, my mind it is there. in. Yeah. Whereas I know when you train, it's, it's a faster yeah. pace. That's right. And so that would distract me rather than That's when right. I go, it amplifies and I just get this. I'm more in your head. Like, no, no, you're yeah. right. You're right. That does make sense. You know? But, but, but I'm also saying at home though. So even at home, I don't need to fix it in the moment anymore. It's almost like yeah. we both, we both wait until we're calm. Okay. Then- that I can do. That's fine. Um, okay. Like I can, we can have an argument and like, you know, blah, 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 it doesn't get resolved immediately. That's okay. But I couldn't, if it's still in my mind, I could never focus on training. Yeah. yeah. I think you're Ben, maybe you're right. Cause when I train, like once I start, there's not yeah. really, a, there's not really a stop until I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I train, you cut out, you cut out. I, I think if I trained your way and I went through like, yeah, yeah. say, yeah. or I did giant sets or something like that, Faster, it yeah. would be too distracting. Right. But where I go a plate on, feel sit, think about what minutes. I'm doing, yeah, yeah, it yeah. would be like fucking in here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. So, okay. So we'll just call it situational. So in situational arguments or situational depression, for you know what? I'm going to say in either scenario. So in either scenario for me, whether it's situational or whether it's clinical, yeah, I feel like I have to keep my day the same or else I'll get more fucked up. Yeah, I'm saying. A routine is important in those situations for me. Routine yeah. and, and, and a busy mind, yeah. Yeah, I can't. The longer I sit, the worse whatever fucking I'm feeling gets. Mm-hmm. Tell you this though, a little trip to the cinema and a coffee never hurts. A little. Do you do that like, by in those yourself, situations? James? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like often, yeah, yeah. Like if I'm feeling a bit down, a bit shitty from the back end of a conversation or an argument or something. Sometimes I just fuck off to the cinema, get a, a coffee, and just sit in my own time and have my own space, and just yeah, watch a film so that I'm not thinking about the issues and. Let time heal sometimes. You know, I've never done that. I'm like, actually, nice. little, I'm actually a little jealous. It's yeah. nice, man. It's good. I've done it a few times. Yeah. You've gone to just sit in a movie by yourself? I've gone to movies maybe five times alone in my life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I have trouble doing any of that stuff. I think, who said that when we were in Dallas? Somebody was sitting, I think it was Guy. So there was a guy sitting at the IHOP, like a few tables over by himself having breakfast. I used to go to- I don't, and I love that. That's great. I used to go to Cora's every single morning and eat breakfast by myself. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I used to have spilt milk, didn't I? You know, in my place in England, like I just disappear. Dude, I don't really, I don't really need company for that shit. You know, I went to, um, I think, what, 2018. I went to Prague for a week on my own, just nice. went around, and That's it was good. like, it just was the nicest five. I could do what I wanted. It was just being. Yeah, I, 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 my own pace. I sympathize with Guy when he said it because when I see people sitting having breakfast or lunch or dinner by themselves or whatever, I'm like, I kind of get jealous because I'm like, I could never do that, but I want to. I think you could do it. You could. Yeah. Once right, you're right. there, you get used to it. It's, yeah. it's, and it's a nice reset. Sometimes you just need a reset. Yeah. And, that, yeah, and that's what it is. Get yourself a nice something. drink. Get yourself a nice Starbucks and go hit the movie theater. Just sit there in the middle of the day and, you know. My wife, yeah. probably, my wife would probably think I was cheating on her. <laughs> who'd, you to, who'd you go to the movies with? I'd be like, well, by myself. She's like, no, you fucking didn't. Who'd you go? <laughs> well, then, you know, that's, that, then the reason you find it hard to do that is because you feel already preempted to feel that way. That you would worry what she thinks. No, no, no. I'm joking Maybe. about that. I just... Oh. I, I just... I think I've just always done something with a friend or in a group. So it feels strange, but I'm always, when I, when I used to go, like when I used to travel for work for like doing sales and stuff, I would always see people having lunch alone. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could fucking do that, but I could never, you know, when you go down in the, uh, if you're staying at a hotel, you go down for breakfast Yeah, yeah. and people are sitting there having breakfast, like business people when they're away on business, I would always yeah. grab my breakfast and go back to my room. Yeah, yeah, no, sit there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's where I'd see. I would sit down. I would, yeah. I would just sit down there alone. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I, I remember my first ever diet I did. I was so hungry. I went and saw two films back to back because to stop me from eating anything off my diet. Yeah, I used to do it in prep. I used to go and get a black coffee and watch a film. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the theater. Actually, I can't. I'm not double vaxxed. I'm not allowed in right now. I have to wait. <laughs> I have to wait till... Oh, I was saying this to Guy earlier. I'm not allowed to go to the Toronto Pro. Oh, you have to be double vaxxed? You it's have to be double joke, vaxxed bro. to get in the venue. That's really? Joke. Yeah. You can take two grams of test and go on stage and fucking compete, but you can't, you know, if you're not healthy enough, if you're not vaxxed, you can't get in. 
What, so you can com- wait. You you can compete without being double vaxxed. No, no, I don't know about the. I don't think you can compete either. I think you have to be double vaxxed. Oh, I think I was you have like, to be. Right, no, okay, I, was okay. just, I was just joking. I was just joking around. I think you have to be double vaxxed just to get in the venue. Yeah. Right. Anyway, that's just Ontario law, though. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, we'll do a couple more. Uh, what would be considered a fairly, fairly routine or accepted practice for how competitors manipulate their diet and training in the final days before a show? As far as manipulating carbs, sodium, water, and timing, is there any kind of standard protocol anecdotally that athletes follow before getting on stage? So it's not really, I mean, there's a pretty common thing, but everybody like does something a little different. Carb load, yeah. manipulate water and sodium a little bit, maybe, and that's it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Very in-depth. Cool. I'm thinking that, like, and that's a super in-depth answer yeah. that you yeah. Well, there's too many variables. It depends on the athlete, depends on how their prep was, yeah. depends on the I mean, coach, all four depends. of us could be doing a show this weekend, all four of us would be doing something different. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, James and I both did the Olympian. I guarantee Patrick had us doing something completely yeah. different based off where yeah. James' physique was and where mine was, you know? Yeah. All right. We'll we'll take this one as the last one. I think this is good. What I will say is like one of the simple things that's always something I like to discuss is some people are better front loading and some people are better back loading. Like some people can put some extra food in a day or two before and look yeah. great. Some people have to put food in way before and then bring the food down to like kind of land the plane. And that's the different. That's that's a very small thing, but it's a very big thing. Yeah, that's where I think, uh, from my point of view, if I'm working with somebody, a, a mock carb up to see how their bodies hold where where their body holds water because you have some people that aldosterone is almost like delayed and so they hold water like two days after the fact yeah. rather than the next day so if you're if you're in prep and you're working with a coach and you haven't done at least a a trial carb up to see where you're at with it then you might want to do that two yeah. three weeks out before the show oh uh, before i ask this last question i just want to make a statement and i don't care if anybody's offended by it if you think Branch Warren has bad genetics. You don't know shit about bodybuilding, mm-hmm. and you need to rethink why you're even following the sport. Rob's has anyone ever seen how nicely shaped Branch Warren was when he was like I, 2005? Nice. Charlotte Crazy. Pro. Charlotte Pro. This guy literally got in a debate with me online, and he's like, well, "Look at when he's 19." As he's well. like Branch. Like, he's like Branch Warren's not even close to Olympia caliber. I'm like, wow. factually, you're incorrect because he was second place at the Olympia, which means yeah. he's close <laughs> to Olympia caliber. <laughs> I'm like, what the as fuck? As you can be other than yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally the closest guy that year. So I just want to prove. So people, this is the problem with. with uh, and the Charlie. guy that he lost to wasn't any slouch either. So it was like a gimme. Okay. So yeah. this, is, this is the thing. People have a real issue with terminology in bodybuilding. They confuse aesthetics for symmetry. Those two things are not the fucking same. And so people don't know how to judge a bodybuilding show because they look at aesthetics, which is not a category. But symmetry is. So you don't have to be, you don't get judged on your aesthetics. So mm-hmm. that's that's one thing people need to understand. Second thing is saying somebody has bad genetics because you don't like the aesthetics of their physique is not it's dumb. It's dumb. doesn't mean anything. You just you basically said nothing. Just because somebody's physique doesn't look the way you think it should look doesn't mean their genetics are bad. So and then as far as Branch Warren goes, I just want to prove I mean, this is fucking... literally you're literally talking about my fucking career in a nutshell here. You know, like <laughs> listen, it goes and people be like, what the fuck? You know, and I'm like, well, I won on every single criteria except for the one that you deem as aesthetics, you know, like, yeah, that, and it's true. But but this is and the reason and that's and you're actually one of the reasons I'm saying this, because we keep judging shows or predicting shows. And then I do breakdowns or wrap ups and people are like, oh, you're stupid. You know what you're talking about? I'm like, no, you don't know how to judge a bodybuilding show. Mm. you're judging a bodybuilding show based on what your eye likes to see and not Mm -hmm. the actual categories on the fucking scorecard yeah 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 yeah. so and the second thing is this branch warren thing that keeps coming up and people saying he's got bad genetics i'm gonna fucking like yeah pull up 2005 branch warren i'm just gonna pull pull up all branch warren like he won won the charlotte pro and he looked fucking amazing just pull up a young so people can see what he looked like you know unadultered you know so this is a young branch warren like, right to take, look at the front double. The yeah, <laughs> look at the front double. Second, top left. Second from the left. Look at, look at this. Look at this. That's and bad genetics. Fuck. Please. I'll take, the most uh, muscular. Sign right. me up. Oh. Sign me up for those bad genetics. Yeah. yeah. I just. Look at it's, the legs. it's insane oh. to me. People like God say, damn. "Look at this front. This is front lat spread." Like, <laughs> look at. I mean, that's too small to see, but like, look at that this. That's crazy, though. 
crazy. Like, I love that most muscular you just had up. But oh, small, yeah, the small, the small most muscular is really nice. Uh, but it's it's you know, but even in his older, like yes, his stomach got a little bit bigger, but that happens. The bigger you get, like yeah, I mean, this is you know, it's not. People are like, well, it doesn't look like Flex Wheeler. I'm like, okay, that's fine, but that doesn't mean he has bad genetics. I mean, to, to it's get all you don't know about Flex Wheeler, he's got white man's fucking genetics. It's like genetics aren't fucking just animals. genetics aren't just roundness and shape to the muscle. No. Look at this. Look at this physique. Like, are you fucking nuts? Yeah, it's no. crazy. I, I just, uh, you know, people will pull something like this and be like, that's bad genetics. I'm like, this is his last show. That's part of the time. That's he's got. He's got. He's got a. He blew out his fucking knee, so his leg is smaller. His stomach is not flexed. Like, this isn't a fair assessment. This. And to be fair, he's still fucking got a lot of muscle. (laughs) Like, like this is branch one. Or you can look at that front double two over from that. Yeah, like what the fuck are you like? What is anybody talking about? So I said to the kid, I'm like, anybody who says, well, that's morphed, but yeah. yeah. Um, I'm like, anybody who says Branch Warren has bad genetics doesn't know fucking shit about bodybuilding. And he's like, well, Dave Palumbo said it. And I'm like, oh, well, then throw Dave in that category because I don't care who, what your name is. If you think this is bad, I was actually about to to say who, of anyone that's got any credibility, who's actually saying that Branch has bad genetics. People just don't understand what bad genetics are. Like, there's people out there that literally like couldn't build an ounce of muscle and have absolutely no shape. Like, there's, it's, so different you know and i just don't understand how you could say that anyway are they basically saying that seven judges sitting on a panel who had him winning two arnold's and being second at the olympia are all fucking stupid like no, you can't say that he worked hard and he had bad genetics you it doesn't matter listen the, the, i know you're not saying this ian but i don't care who you are the working, the working hard working hard is not going to build this if you don't have genetics oh, no. not even close. It, it, his, like, his thing i have a and i had the same discussion with james that i don't think there can no no put one person can say that's ever been in the third call out of the olympia has bad genetics i've been in the third call out of the olympia that's <laughs> what i'm saying you have no i'm saying if you have stepped on the olympia stage you do not have bad genetics fuck off yeah, yeah. i i honestly think I know I'm getting worked up, but I honestly think the problem is terminology. People just... Yeah, they're conflating one yeah, to be the other. Yeah, they confuse what they like to look at with the terminology we're using. And the things don't... They're not the same thing. They expect everyone to look like Flex Wheeler. Or, yeah. And, like, it's, like, you, and it's like, no. like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's that. Uh, last question. What time period did you enjoy more, your 20s or 30s? Well, I'm only... 30 now so i don't know i guess that question, that I'm question too. I feel you, like, yeah. you're the only one through your 30s and 20s so yeah. i guess that was a bad question to ask <laughs> you're asking a bunch of guys in their 30s so it's like you know yeah but you kind of know how things are going to go no i don't oh, wow. I, know. I can map out your i can map I out 30, i turned you can map. i pretty much know how all your lives are going to go i know how your lives are going to go i can say I can, I can say well no it's good it's a, it all looks good to me <laughs> i can tell you your lives are going to be good Okay, good. He's like the, or- he's, he's like the mystic bull. I feel like he's. I don't need to worry anymore. I'm going to tell Denise. I don't need to worry anymore. Don't worry anymore. The, the Oracle. Denise, okay. don't worry. Fuad said we're going to be okay. <laughs> well, actually, he signs my fucking one of my paychecks a month. So how yeah. or- okay. Oracle spoken? Tell me, you guys don't know what your lives are going to be. I already know what your lives are going to be. James is already signed for two years. He's going to move to Florida. He's going to be a very successful bodybuilder. Ian's going to continue to win shows. Ben's going to continue to rack up clients and make money. Nothing's going to change. This is it. This is it for five years from now. We're still going to be doing this. Yeah, but what about 10 years? We're going to get all the way to our 40s. It's 20s versus 30s. We got to yeah. hold it. See, that's the thing. 35 to 40. 38, 39. Shit might be loose, yeah. you know? I can't tell you what's going to happen <laughs> after that. All right. I like that. I can't tell you what's going to happen after that. But I can tell you what's going to happen. Fuck, I can't tell you. You cut like, it out every, again. Every time he tries to rip on me, he cuts out. Go ahead. I said I can't even predict what's happening next fucking week in my life, and you're yeah. you're over here extrapolating. Ben, I've years. known you for two years. Your life has been exactly the same for two years. No, I have my visa interview next month. I might become legal status. Yeah, your life's not going to change. You're still going to be living in the yeah. US. Because that, no, because then we can move travel. We can into a moving house and relocate. So wait, are you and Denise are married? Yes. So after you get married, is it a, a quite a process getting your green card and stuff? Yeah, I thought it was meant to be. Oh, yes. Yep. Really? Yes. 
Yeah. Wow. Didn't, it didn't it fix. It didn't it didn't expedite anything really. It just meant that all we did was we applied for a spousal visa rather than a, a different type of one. I thought having a child here helped you a lot as well. Yeah. I mean, it might, but the process is still the same yeah. with getting to the interview. Mm. is still a fucking long, drawn-out bullshit. So the, the time is probably still drawn out, but I bet I wonder if the approval is probably a lot easier to get. Because you're married and you have a child. And, I mean, I don't mean, think he'll get denied, but it's yeah, just... Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> you fucking pissed at me. Basically, <laughs> yeah. they're going to have to come back to England if I get denied. You're not going to Well, you'll denied. just live there forever as an illegal immigrant, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, if you were an MMA fighter, what would your entrance song be? We've done this before. We have? Yeah, get a new one. Can you butt chug a protein shake? <laughs> I mean, you can, but I don't think that's very good. I lost Kai. He'd be up for trying. That's, 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 that's you up real good. Can you, eh? joke around, can you joke around with Kai about that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to do, so apparently you're going to do a flavor of uh, Total War called Smash. Smashed um, grapefruit. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll ask Aaron. Aaron and Clyde agreed on it. Oh my god, that's funny. It's I, I like mean, that. It's cool that he can joke around about it. Yeah, yeah, no, he. Oh, you got to be able to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, last, last. Question. I'm not fucking drinking that though. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed grapefruit. I'm not. Uh, who is the most overrated bodybuilder at the moment? No, let's not do that. <laughs> I thought you made that up as a joke. I no. thought you were literally just. I'll answer that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Ian will be happy to answer it. All right, I don't I even know who I think. Uh, say howdy. Say howdy, please. Oh say my howdy. God, no. <laughs> I, get, I get murdered. Who would it be? Who's the most overrated bodybuilder right now? It's, it's funny because I, think I, I was, was just thinking about this the other day. I don't it, think there's was, anybody was, who's overrated. It was apparently me at the Olympia. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> but hey, you know, this is what it is. Overrated. Look at some of these questions are so weird. If the whole bodybuilding and bollocks team are kitchenwares, what would y'all be? Kitchenware, like, like an item each. Like, like I would be like I'd be a, a knife. A, I'm a toaster. Yeah, like someone would be a, a spatula. Toaster. I'm definitely a toaster. Why are you a toaster? Because my relationship with bread is that strong. I'd have to be a toaster. <laughs> Just the way it is. It's actually not a bad question. I like that. Like now, now also picture it like a uh, a Disney movie, like Beauty and the Beast, like the cups that come alive. So we <laughs> yeah. are. So if the, you know, we're all Jake, those. Well, things, what are you? You're alive. kind of like the the leader of the pack here. You know, like this is your show. What so do you what, need? What, what do you need? I feel like you should be an apron. You should be an apron. No, what do you need in the kitchen <laughs> hey, no, for everything? I feel like you need to be an apron. I don't a know frying pan, a frying pan, a refrigerator. I'm a refrigerator. I look like Cause, a refrigerator. Cause he's got the wide weight. He's got the wide weight. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a physique like a refrigerator, and he's hey, the refrigerator. The other for refrigerator is Jay Cutler, so I'll take that. Jay yeah. Cutler was always called the refrigerator, so I'll take that one. Okay, I'm the refrigerator. <laughs> Fuck it. Because all of the food is inside him. That's yeah. it. <laughs> take it one, one What's that, James? Did we agree what Ben and Ian were? What's tall and lanky in the kitchen? <laughs> Ben's a butter knife. A butter knife. It's very useful, but... No, no, I got a better one. What? And this is only based on what you and Brett said with the meetup. I'm the coffee mug. Why? Oh, because you're... Because I'm what people consult when people need to... Ah, uh, the comfort. The yeah, he'll talk, guy. He'll talk yeah. to you. He'll be like, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. You'll take yeah. it yeah. a cup of coffee. Like, so calm like, down, that's, back. that's a good one, yeah. He'll be like telling you to just breathe, chill, take yeah. a sip. Ian's a fucking knife. Yeah. I'm a blender. No, Ian's a fucking yeah, Ian's a, a fucking just tears through shit. <coughs> Ian just tears through everything. Rip it all up, yeah. <laughs> all right, last one. Let's do it. I actually more. really liked that question. That was like my childish side came up. Uh, what's the worst thing to have on stage? A bloated gut, not shredded enough? That's boring. They're both bad. Uh, Countdown. I don't know. If you had to show up on stage either super flat or way spilled full, which one would you rather be? Spilled full. I'd rather still be fucking huge. I hate it when I came in like small. If you're super, it depends. Full is still cool. Like you if get a picture and be like, yeah, super... I was guest posing. Yeah, but sometimes you can be super flat and it just makes you look way more shredded. 
Oh, See, I, I would I rather be super f- spilled because I look terrible flat. Yeah, same. I've been super, super flat. I just get like crispier. So I'll take oh, no, I, 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 I'm the same. I'm Tampa, I'm, Pro, I'm Tampa Pro Hunter Lost 2019 where I look like I don't even fucking work out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. I just look, I look wet when I'm like fucking flat because there's no pop. You look yeah, moist. Just, moist, man. You look moist. All the angles, all the muscles are moist. Looks like a moist cunt. <laughs> You're like a right moist cunt. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. If you had to choose one or the other to keep forever, music versus TV shows or movies. Music. I keep music for me. I don't I, really watch TV. I keep movies. I keep movies. That's so fucking hard for me. Uh, TV shows over movies is hard to pick, though. Or is that no, it's one? Not, it's not. Those are, that's one thing. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Basically, give, TV me, or... give, me, give me Netflix over uh, music, for sure. Can I watch music on YouTube no. on my TV? No, no music. I no, gotta have, just... I gotta have music, man. I think music's really important. I but I watch a, but I watch a lot of TV. Yeah, that's so a tough. One. Wait, wait, wait! You could watch a musical though. No, oh, those yeah. are horrible. Those cats. Are horrible. You those could watch cats. To, <laughs> those make me want to barf. If you if you choose music, can you then no no longer watch porn? No, of course you can't. That, can't that, watch anything. Is that hey. TV movies? James, can you listen you to choose... porn? <laughs> can, I listen? The, can I do the audio? Because that'll yeah, get you can do the audio. Yeah, you, can hear the bulls, Wait. you can hear the bull slapping. Wait, if you, <laughs> James, if you choose uh, films, you can just watch Eight Mile and listen to the Eight Mile soundtrack. Oh, yeah, you can just lose yourself. That's true. Again. There's some there's some movies that have great soundtracks. Yeah, yeah loophole with that. You can just loophole listen to that. Eight Mile loop, and Cradle. To the, you can just listen to Eight Mile and Cradle to the Grave, and you'd be good. You know, it's great. Yeah, yeah go to sleep. <laughs> And, and all the World War II movies all have like old school fucking rock. Yeah. I like that shit. You can watch like an old Tom Cruise film, listen to like ACDC or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, all the Iron Man have ACDC on ACDC on Iron Man. Yep. So TV mm. and movies. All right. We're in. Done. Still, okay, I'm still saying, I've still said music. Okay. Last question. Last question. For the rest of your life, everything you eat and drink has to be served cold or served hot, and you can't wait to consume it. Which are you choosing? Cold. I eat everything cold anyway. Cold. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, all my, I never heat up my meals. Oh, oh, I, I, always, I would rather eat hot stuff cold than cold stuff hot. Like, imagine eating a hot salad. It's going to yeah. like, taste like garbage. Mo- oh, it'd be moist. Or like hot, hot cheesecake. <laughs> moist, <know>? moist lettuce. <laughs> I don't know if I can deal with a hot cheesecake. Hot cheesecake. No, like, yeah. Continue with ice cream again. It'll burn. Like, it'll burn. Ice cream it'll burn. Are you just drinking all your ice cream now? Is it no, hot? you gotta, yeah, wait. Yeah. They, they, they do like deep fried ice cream, though. That's kind of hot ish. Yeah, but it's still cold. How does that work? Yeah, I can't do cold stuff hot because it would be gross. Yeah. Like hot. So imagine eating hot cereal. Yeah, it's like oats, though. No, no like that's cheer- not cereal, man. No, like Cheerios. Like Cheerios. Cheerios, yeah, it's Cheerios it's and like boiled. All right, James. All right, James. I, I'm going to ask James this. <laughs> I don't think you guys have it. James, you ever had Weetabix? Yeah. I've obviously had we Weetabix. Weetabix. Yeah, yeah, we, I, I've not seen it here in the US, so I assume kind of... It's available. Canada, hot, hot, Canada hot, has cold it. milk. Okay. Hot, uh, hot, I, would, milk. I would do warm milk in that, yeah. I said do cold and loads of sugar. I'm just saying. Yeah, if you loads, did like a, loads of sugar. Loads of sugar. I'm just saying, if you did like a bowl of Fruit Loops, you couldn't do it like hot. No. Uh, you'd obviously have to food tailor food. your diet around this because like certain foods would be fucking disgusting so it's like you don't eat fucking fruit loops anymore because it's gross you know yeah i'm just saying i could eat a cold steak and be like okay with it yeah well but imagine like a hot fruit salad yeah oh. yeah like like hot, hot fruit yeah you gotta eat like your bananas hot, apple yeah. hot. yeah but you can just, oh, make wait apple, a minute, you just make apple pie wait wait, wait. yeah yeah you just make apple pie like apple crumble pie. yeah warm apple bananas are okay warm apple pie <laughs> I actually used to do this. I used to do a banana with peanut butter mashed in and then put it in the microwave and it's like just like pudding. That's yeah. Good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've actually got a candle here. Look, look, it's cool. I think I might be changing my mind. I don't eat a lot of fucking or salad or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't when eat I, a lot of salad yeah. or cereal anyway. What the fuck do I need to eat cold shit for? I'd eat hot. I'd go hot. Never eat. Yeah, I mean, I, I only eat foods that need to be eaten hot, but I feel like... Wait, eggs. Have you eaten cold eggs? It's fucking horrible. Yeah, I don't really like eggs anyway, so... You don't like eggs? I would probably, I, I just have soup and bread. You don't like Post. eggs, eh? I have eggs every day. Like sometimes I, mean, every morning. I eat eggs during prep and stuff, but I don't like eggs per se. Do you not? I, I used to I hate like them. A, I used to dislike eggs and bananas, and now they're like two of my favorite. I get things. in moods. Like if I'm during prep, sometimes I'll be like, okay, I like eggs, but m- like in an off season, I won't eat eggs now. Oh, so huh. I like them. Eggs and ketchup. Mm. I used to yeah, have like, one of the- sour, sourdough toast. Oh, 
I got some. I did okay. one off season, like, I don't know, maybe 2014 or 15. I was doing by myself and my breakfast, I would just eat 12 hard boiled oh, eggs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why you can hard That's, that's, that's hard why boiled. you don't like eggs. Yeah. I would I just hard boil, boil so shit. full carton and then, like, obviously, peeling 12 eggs takes fucking forever. And yeah. then I would just take them, like, one whole egg and just shove it in my mouth and just, like, see, hard boiled I love hard boiled in a salad. Eggs. In a salad. Yeah. Like, yeah but not on their own. On their own, they're dry, man. I yeah. like hard boiled eggs all the time. Wait, well, Ian, you quite like the deviled egg pasta? Oh, the... oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was great. I, I love any any kind of cold pasta like that, though, like egg salad, like or whatever those yeah, kind yeah. of things. Like, yeah. I love. Yeah. It. I like Dude, I had I had I had three servings of that egg salad yeah. pasta. 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 Count. pasta. You literally had three <laughs> servings of everything. No, I didn't. I only had two steaks. I had a lot of steak. <laughs> he, uh, James ate more than I did. I ate a lot of steak. I do like steak. That steak was exceptional. And and Michael's steak was exceptional. We shouldn't, have, ate, we shouldn't have ate though, because I was catching a buzz and then I had dinner and, and my buzz went away. Flattened it out with your flat out your food. Yeah, and you, I turned around at one point and I was like, I don't want to I don't want to eat. I'm like, why? Is that, get I want to drinking now. Let's get fucked up. I'm like, no, and I can sit up. Like there's nowhere to go after this. But I this knew like... I knew it was gonna happen, and it happened because I was catching a buzz. And then we had dinner, and I was like, "Oh fuck, my buzz is gone." And then you it never came, to do. It never you came back. Needed, you just needed to up the alcohol tremendously. I can't. I was, what, once to I outweigh, you know to outweigh like, the food. No, that's it's like that with me when I drink. If it, if I'm going like this, and then it comes back down, I don't. I can't need go back, back up. up. Yeah, uh, I gotta just go. Like, much, you probably needed you know a harder much, drug. You know how much that whiskey we got through, by the way, quite a bit. I didn't eat the the good shit. I didn't even drink any of that. I did. I didn't really you drink. Didn't? I had one. No, I drank the crown. I was drinking the crown. Why this, that Johnny Walker I've got? Because I didn't want to waste the good whiskey. Because I was just a drink. I was just drinking. Yeah, because so yeah, yeah, you were not getting stuff. drunk. <laughs> I was all loaded up on what's that shit guy gave me called again? Uh, oh, God. Uh, Kratom. 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 Yeah, yeah. You fell in love with that shit. I love that stuff. We need another meat now. I'm just wanting another meat, another cigar, and more drink. I was thinking actually earlier, Fred. You were talking about UFC, and I was like, why don't we have a meet up and all go watch a UFC event? Yeah. Like meet up in Vegas or when it comes to yeah, to go Texas Vegas and then Vegas. No, Vegas. We'll hit Vegas because Flex Flex has got hookups for the UFC. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monster and all that. Now, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Maybe okay. Cut it. So just in case I'm going to cut it, let's cut here and then we'll all say goodbye. Ready? Cut. Yeah. Okay, Addy's guys. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Addy's overrated. COVID's fake. Okay. See you later, guys. <laughs> um, catch up. No, uh, yeah. Don't get okay. the vaccine; it'll kill you. Don't. <laughs> okay, now. Okay. <laughs> I got it all out. I got it all out. <laughs> no one needs to know. Oh, now she's got a foot in it. What are you doing? <laughs> you gotta be serious. You fucking. I mean, she's coming on. She's got such small feet. I know. God. All right, guys. We'll catch up next week. Yeah, yeah. we'll see you guys. Good, um, all right, boys. Guys. Take it easy. Right. Have a good night. Right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.